Hello, everybody. It is me. I'm back again with yet another long, highly not really that anticipated, stressful, hard to follow stream. Welcome. Uh, every 10 followers on this stream, we're going to do a gift card giveaway. It looks like we just got to follow. Vitaly, thank you so much for following. Appreciate it. Uh, and then also we had Magic Mama with the dancing logo started following. So Magic Mama, thank you so much for following. That's two followers. So if you guys are brand new here, make sure you guys are going to dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Make sure you guys get signed up. Every 10 followers, we're doing a gift card giveaway. www.dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Let me see which one of my friends are in the chat. We got Christmas Carol. We got Brenda Haynes. We got Evans. We got Kmart Kelly. What's up, Kmart Kelly? We got Vicky. We got Cody Lake. What's up? Randy. Sheila B. We got Terry Quick. And Darren B. You guys, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing today? Hope you guys are having a great day. Darren. Darren, here's the finished product. Uh, I'm going to be real with you, Darren. We messed up. or well, we didn't. You guys didn't do anything. I messed up. Uh, if I get it real close, you can see the lines. You see those really weird, just like, uh, hold on. Do you see how, like, there's, like, little cut lines right here? I had my nozzle way, 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 way too close. But yeah, that's what we did today. Um, we will be 3D printing something on the stream today. It doesn't look like it's in the carousel. Uh, but for the most part, we're going to be looking at everything live on stream today. Um, but yeah, those lines, it's just it was just a little too close, if you know what I mean. Uh, I'm trying to think of what we should print today. I'm trying to think of what we should print. You actually kind of like the texture. It was it was from the nozzle dragging because I like when I leveled it, I put the nozzle too close. But now I'm thinking kind of like what you're thinking. I think it looks good in a way because it kind of gives it like a, yeah, it kind of gives it its own like little unique texture in a way. Um, but yeah, everybody, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of products, a lot of tech products as usual. Uh, seeing some products you guys have seen a lot, seeing some products you guys haven't seen very often. Uh, like this real link 4g LTE cellular outdoor um, camera so this is a remote access camera so if you guys like maybe you have a farm or a hunting location or a cabin or just somewhere without internet that you need a camera that you can monitor from an app then you need to get this camera right here so it comes with a solar panel obviously so you can stay charged if you're that remote without power and it operates off of 3G or 4G LTE, so you'll need uh, a SIM card to go with it. However you get that through whatever service, that's up to you. Uh, but overall, the Reolink 4G LTE is a great camera. So let's go ahead and just take a look at that. And then the next product we have is on hand. You should def paint that. I feel like we should. Or at least use paint markers on it. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I feel like I should go... I mean, I feel like I should go Bill's colors, right? Like 100%, I should just go Bill's colors. I don't know. What do you guys think? We should, we should, we probably should. So let's, let's get a strong start. Let's get a strong start today and get one video out of the way. Come on, guys. I know we can do this. Hoo wee. Okay. So let's go with uh, Amazon videos right here. Right here. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, what's up, guys? Nate with Dragon. So, uh, as you guys can see, that really cool looking dude right there, that's past Nate. I mean, he's all right, but this Nate's probably cooler. If we're, if, if we're keeping it a buck hundred. So, it comes with everything you need, except for the, uh, <laughs> except for the SIM card in order to be able to get this thing to run. It can't run off of Wi-Fi. So, even though it, it says, like, 3G, 4G, LTE, I think most people would kind of think like, all right, well, that means that I can, you know, I can at least run it off Wi-Fi. You can't. It's weird, right? You can't. thought I was grooming a dog for a second. Yeah, like how does this, yeah, 
how does this play into a, a security camera, Nate? Just trust me. Trust the process. Uh, but yeah, high, high powered camera. It just, uh, it has a kind of a niche. It kind of has a niche area. What's up, Vincent Yee? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, that is where you end up putting the SIM card and micro SD card. Just right there on the back. It does have a tripod mount, but it comes with the mounts and everything you need to get this set up. So, uh, Tons of situations where you might need that, but if you guys do need like a remote access camera for whatever reason, like I said, a farm, a cabin, out in the woods, trail hunting, just like anything, anything you can think of, that's what that's going to be for. Uh, but we have two new followers on the stream already. Evans, are you keeping track? You need to be keeping track, Evans, because you know I can't. Mentally, I cannot keep track. So this is, it's on you. It's on you today, girl. Oh, man. What's everybody on up to today? Has anybody won anything cool recently, by the way? What's your guys' uh, cool winnings? So let me go ahead and uh, switch over to the next product, which is the one Odeo A70 Bluetooth headphones. Two new headphones. Okay, Evans is on it. You guys make sure you guys are getting signed up at dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Anybody need a new pair of headphones? Is anybody looking for a new pair of headphones? Because I might have some that you like. I might. Can't promise you I do. Oh, but I might. Who's messaging me now? You won $100 from Tyler? Oh, yeah. He was doing, doing the five $100 gift card giveaways, wasn't he? You could use some. Check these out, then. You you might. You might like these, Darren. Especially being that, like, you know, you play instruments and stuff. These are also studio headphones. These are also studio headphones, Darren. These are the One Odeo A70 Fusion studio headphones. So these aim to be budget style, but not budget sound studio headphones. It comes with all of the cables. Uh, maybe you can tell me. Maybe you can tell me what size millimeter, like what size auxiliary cable that is. But it does have that. Now it recharges through micro USB. It's got all of the controls on the side. This also can fold down too, which is pretty cool. I'll show you what I mean. You'd like to win a prize that is just for me. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? So you can see quarter inch. I always thought it was a six millimeter for some reason. I don't know why. You can see that the, the leather cuffs or the leather ear cushions i mean super super soft pretty cool to the touch now leather it just depends on if you like that or not you can see that uh you have tons of adjustment and range on these so uh they can adjust like this if you know you need to tilt them this way you can do that and then they have tons of adjustment now uh one of the things i wanted to note about these is the build quality build quality on this is like superior to most headphones that i've used i don't know why especially being that these are only 42.99 uh, they just feel great. Like everything about them is premium. Uh, you do have, like I said, you have your quarter inch auxiliary jack right there. You have your three millimeter auxiliary jack right there. And then, like I said, all of your power buttons. And overall, like I was, like I was saying the last time we talked about these, they're comfortable and they sound great. I, I kind of stopped wanting to talk about headphones and like listening and like playing something while I'm listening to it. Cause you guys can't hear it. It's pointless. It's pointless. Yeah. Very comfortable. Make that a little bit more. There we go. Yeah. Very lightweight. Um, now they're not noise canceling headphones, but being that they like sit around your head so well, it does a good job of just like blocking out noise from coming in in a way. It doesn't actively do it. Uh, but yeah, Darren, maybe, Maybe these headphones are ones that you want to give a shot uh, if you like a very simple product. And this is a good price range, too, for studio headphones. Uh, but that also goes out to everybody. And then when you're done, you can just simply fold them back up just like this. And we'll go ahead and put them in the box for the next next time we talk about these and do a unboxing. 
I did win some gift cards and put toward a sublimation printer, though. Oh, a thermal printer? Okay. One of the ones that can also do color in a weird way. These are the One Odeo Fusion A70s. You guys definitely have to check these out. I think you might like these. I think you might. But if you don't, buyer beware. Twas not me when you bought it was there. Twas not me. Now that, see that? No. Why would you let me say that, chat? Why would you let me say that? I, uh, I don't know why I'm facing this, like, I don't know why I'm doing product placement like I'm sponsored by Dr. Pepper. It was like this. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Um, the kind you do iron on infusion, not vinyl iron on sticky type. It's infused into the material. What kind of printer is that? You're doing what, what kind of advanced level technical stuff are you doing? Have you guys ever wanted to like just listen in on people's conversations that aren't that are aren't that aren't speaking that are not speaking uh English? Just be real, have you ever wanted to? You can with these. You guys saw the M2s from Time Kettle. These are the M3s. So the M3s. What's up, Mama Siren? Welcome. So the M3s are the newest headphones from Time Kettle. As you guys can see, Astro is doing what Astro. Go charge. Okay, there we go. We got him to charge. So, Mama Stein, how are you doing today? How is it going? Oh, Mama Siren. What should we print today? What should we print? All right, let's go back over here. Um, so, let's, let's go ahead and test these out. Last time I tried to test these live, I'm not going to lie to you guys, we had a little bit of a hiccup. We had a little bit of a hiccup. You're doing okay? Just okay? Something's wrong with my wrist, guys. I'm not kidding. I can't bend it that... Like, I cannot do this. I can't go like that. <sighs> See? And I can't, like, twist it. Oh, my goodness. Dude. So I can, like... I can twist it that way. But if I try to, like, twist it back that way... All right here is like shooting pain. Um, if I put pressure on it, yeah. Ooh. Has it always been that way? No. No, it hasn't. And it's like just right here. It just shoots pain. Can you flop your wrist? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. What do you guys think? Carpal tunnel maybe? I mean, I am on a computer a lot, but still, man, that is... That's rough. <laughs> yeah. You sprained it, maybe. I, 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 I kind of like vaguely recall something happening where I get started hurting, but I also don't like. I don't know exactly what's up, Tech Girl Bargains. Tech Girl Bargains. But I also don't remember. Hold the nerve like you do in your neck. Maybe I did. Maybe something like that happened. I don't know, to be honest, but I do know one thing. It, it, it hurts. It hurts something fierce. I mean, it's rough. It's just right here. And it's like, uh. Why is he checking systems? Astro's going loony, guys. Astro's going loony. But what I was saying about these headphones is these are going to allow you to talk to people in other languages that you normally otherwise wouldn't be able to. And it does that because you can download different languages packs. So when the headphones hear, when these headphones hear another language, they'll translate it to the language that you set in the app. Can you make a tight fist, Nate? Yeah, that actually doesn't hurt. That doesn't hurt. 
See, I'm making a tight fist. Doesn't hurt. If I try to go this way. Oh my gosh, that is like right here. Just right in this gen. It's like right here specifically, right there. That's where it hurts the most. I can go this way. I cannot put pressure on it. I can't bend it this way. If I flop my wrist, it hurts. You guys, I think I know what I have. I regret to inform you, I believe I have Ebola. Hashtag Ebola. In the chat, hashtag Ebola. So one of the things that was kind of weird to me, and I'm not gonna lie, is the carrying case. It's not a big deal. But whenever like you're using these, one of the weird things is like the carrying case is two different pieces. You see? I mean, you can close it, but I don't, I guess I don't really understand the, the point of like having it like this, I guess maybe just for a display. But in order for us to like really, 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 really test these out, we need to load up the Time Kettle app. So let's do that first. Oh, Time Kettle, where are you? Time Kettle. I know we've got it around here somewhere, somewhere. There it is. So we got the Time Kettle app. Login has expired. Oh, wow. Let's log in using my Apple ID. Yes, that is my face. All right. Twitch chat is disappointed in me. Oh, hold on. What do you got? What are you guys talking about? I've uh, I've had Twitch chat up the entire time. Hold on. Oh no, my Twitch chat closed on itself. Uh, hold on. Oh yeah, what's up, everybody? That I already said Twitch chat to. <laughs> what's up, everybody in Twitch? What's up, Sarge? Uh, who else have we got? I need. I read ice and rest. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but something something's wrong with the wrist right here, and I can't do certain movements with it without it just going wink. That's the sound effect it makes too. Let me, bling. Yeah, see, it's weird. All right, so, jeez. Uh, In the Time Kettle app, whenever you're setting it up, I guess I already signed up under a different email. You select gender, select date of birth, or your year of birth. Oh, your decade of birth, actually. So we'll go 1940s is when I was born. Your purpose to purchase this product. What was it? Uh, Make friends. Where'd you find our product? Amazon, confirm. Now we need to select the M3 right here. So we got the M3 selected. Open the case and take out the earbuds from the case. Okay. Case is open. Take the earbuds out. Now we need to connect to these. There we go. Connect. Connect. Okay, so it just connected. Do you sell shoulders as screen cleaners? I don't know how to interpret that question, meat face. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be real with you. That doesn't make any sense. So they're pairing to my phone right now, it looks like. I don't know, though. Something weird's going on here. I guess we'll have to seize what happens. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold me back anymore. Maybe I have to go to like my Bluetooth settings directly and connect to them. We're going to find out. Bluetooth settings. And then we're connected. Okay, I think we're good. M3. Let it go. Let it go. Can't get these things to pair. So, let's get them to pair real quick. Hold on. Link confirm. There we go. We got it. 
All right, so let's try this out. Somebody give me something to say in a different language. What's up, Joanna? Somebody give me something to say in a different language. Let's, let's figure this out. Let's go with uh, listen mode. So here you guys go. It's going to listen to us. I'm going to hold up one of the headphones. Oh, those are, they're really comfortable too. It's playing my music right now. All right, so let's go with listen mode. Do not show anymore. All right, so we want the language to be Spanish. No, nope, let's change the language that it's listening for is Spanish. All right. And we want it to play back in English. And here we go. Oh, I'm not even, you guys ready? Oh yeah, I don't, I, I know zero German. That's not happening. Hola, como estas? Did you guys hear that? Hola, como estas? Bien, y tú? You guys can't hear that. Yeah, you guys can't hear that. It's playing back in English right now. Um, what? I, I don't know anything else in Spanish. What am I trying to think of? Donde está Taco Bueno? Just where is the good taco? <laughs> uh, so, whenever I'm speaking in Spanish, Arriba Amazon Live. Okay, it, it's pretty weird. It, it, it's trippy. Uh, that's not the only mode that you can use. Say you just wanted to, uh, let's say you just wanted to quickly make it to where both of you guys that are speaking different languages can speak with each other. You can go to this mode in the app. Oh, they're disconnected again. Feliz cumpleaños. It means happy birthday. So it definitely worked. I mean, it was reading back what I was saying in, in Spanish and English. Uh, you can swap it. So if you're speaking in English, they can hear in Spanish, Japanese, German. Um, yeah, this is just a great way to be able to kind of bridge that language barrier in a way, to be honest. Now, I... I I have very limited knowledge. I don't know how David from UTech. Uh, let me see if I can summon him. David! Maybe he'll show up now. Um, I don't know how I was able to... Uh, how he was able to speak so many different languages. But he did. And it was very impressive. So yeah. Very strange. Uh, but if you guys... Like I said. If you want to be able to bridge that language barrier. For whatever reason. Traveling... Uh, you have friends, work. The M3 translator earbuds is what you need to do. You don't need to turn your speaker on on the phone, but if you do that, they're going to be able to hear you as well. Uh, Jessica, thank you so much for following. Chat, that means we need seven more followers to do another Amazon gift card giveaway. Um, so what we're going to be talking about next is this camera that you guys are watching me from. This is the Rockware RC06 4K webcam. This is probably one of the best webcams that I've tested, you know, that are webcams. Um, so this one has a 4K resolution, 30 frames per second, 1080p at 60 frames per second, a remote control that is going to come with it. So you guys actually can control the zoom features on it, um, the lighting. This is just a great camera by Rockware. They actually have a new one on the way to me. I don't know if it's better. But I'm excited for that one to show up. Uh, but if you guys just need a really nice webcam that has good focus, like I'll, sh I'll go ahead and zoom in here and you guys can see that it, it focuses really well. I also think I figured out the whole like color issues that we were having last week when we were opening up Pokemon cards on Saturday. Um, you guys definitely need to get this one. I'm going to be real with you. I do. I think it might be better than the OpsBot. Now this one doesn't have like 
AI tracking where it'll move you, like it'll follow you around. But how? let's be real. If you need a new webcam, how many of you need a webcam that follows you as you like walk around the room, like physically follows you? It's a really cool feature. Some people are going to have uses for it, but this one does not have it. And it's not a big deal. It's a great looking webcam, especially when you have it lit correctly or good lighting. Uh, and then we're going to move on and take a look at this iWalk LinkPod portable charger. Yep, three new followers. Listen, chat. Every 10 followers on this stream, we do a $5 Amazon gift card giveaway. Currently, we are sitting at three new followers this stream. That means we need seven more followers. Seven more. I feel like we should design a little logo. Robert Santiago, thank you so much for following. I appreciate it. Six more followers, chat. But following isn't the only thing that you need to do. You guys need to make sure you go to our website to get signed up so your name can pop up. Jeanette S with the follow. Five more followers, guys. So you guys, after you hit that follow button, you need to make sure you go get signed up at dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Get signed up there or otherwise when we do do our gift card giveaways, your name can't be drawn unless you get signed up at the website. Um... Once you're signed up, come back here, type in the chat, hashtag Bills Mafia. Hashtag Bills Mafia is keyword today. Uh, Lord Zortero, thank you so much for following. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Listen, um, how fast is the translation for Sar Sarge? It depends on your internet connection, but I was using it on my Wi-Fi just, well, let me see. No, I wasn't. I wasn't using it on Wi-Fi. I was actually on data. And it was after I said something in Spanish, I heard it back in English in one second. So pretty quick, I'd say, honestly. Pretty quick. Uh, we need four more followers, chat. Four more followers to do our Amazon gift card giveaway. Uh, make sure you guys go get signed up at the website. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this iWalk LinkPod portable charger. So what this thing is, is this is designed to just be low pro, or not necessarily low profile, but just be a very easy and kind of out of the way way to charge your iPhone while you um, are on the go. So on the inside of the box, very simple. There's not a lot to it. You're going to have an instruction manual, but you do not need this instruction manual. I'm going to show you guys why. Uh, there's nothing to it. So this is going to recharge. With USB-C, they have a nice long USB-C cable to recharge the battery power on this. Underneath, you're going to have your welcome guide and everything, as well as like some warranty information, you know, just all that good stuff. And then you're going to have the charger itself sitting right here. So this is the charger itself. Not a lot to it. Matte black finish on it. Um, it recharges right there with USB-C. This is 4,800 milliamps, so more than likely this is going to be a higher capacity than the battery capacity on your phone. So uh, more than likely, you're going to be able to recharge whatever phone you have through Apple uh, with this. Now, this is only Apple because it's a lightning connector, kind of hard connected right there. So you can't charge other devices, just Apple with the lightning connector. Using this is very straightforward. There's only one thing you really need to do in order to be able to use this is over here on the side. There's a little button. Hold that button down. Give it a second. And now you're going to notice that right there, we have our battery capacity of the iWalk. So the battery capacity of this is at 26%. So we should probably get this recharged soon. Uh, but to charge your phone, all you got to do is, like I said, just press that button over there on the side. Plug your phone in. And uh, as you guys can see, whenever I plug this in, oh, let me lock my screen real quick. Whenever we plug this in. We are now charging. Um, so yeah, just a very simple way to keep your device charged. If you guys haven't updated to iOS 16 yet, you should. iOS 16 looks, I mean, so, so much better than it used to on like 15. I think I was on 15 before. Now this is 40 bucks, but it has a 20% off coupon. Has a 20% off coupon. So make sure you guys are definitely checking this out. 
Uh, so this can be compatible with basically any device that runs off of that uh, lightning connector or recharges that lightning connector. So let's go ahead and turn this off. To turn it off, just hold down the power button, I believe. Hold it down and release. No, it'll automatically turn off. That's right. I read that in the settings. But yeah, if you guys just need a simple, easy way, right there. The iWalk portable charger. I think you guys might really like it. Really corduroy. Really corduroy. What, 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 what are we talking about here? All right, guys, I think we need to, we need to design a new, uh, how do I say it? We need to design a new scrolling logo for the top of the screen. So let's, uh, let's design a new logo for that. All right, let's go with new blue. No, that's not going to work. new blue hey where's my new blue i didn't reinstall it okay whatever uh we're gonna swap over to the next product and take a look at the airmate electric fireplace heater show you guys this live on hand so give me one second and i will grab it so we can actually look at it live on hand uh is there a corduroy shirt in the carousel today is that what you're seeing is that what you're saying really corduroy about Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah, we do. Really, though? Yeah, it's not bad. I've shown you guys it, but it's not bad. It's actually really comfortable. We had this conversation on the last stream or two streams ago about it. Uh, you guys, again, we need four more followers, just four more followers to do our Amazon gift card giveaway. So if you are not following, hit that follow button, go to our website, get signed up. And then once we hit four new followers, we will do our Amazon gift card giveaway. So Sam, I guess you just really don't like corduroy or something? All right guys, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at this electric fireplace from Airmate. So this is all metal construction. I mean, it's lightweight metal. It doesn't need to be like, you know, heavy because it's not a real fireplace. Uh, you have this nice like little cover right here to kind of give it some more effects. And it also hides the controls. The heating elements are right down here. Just be warned if you do pick this up, this thing is like super, super, super warm. So this isn't going to be great for like a small room. It's more for like a big living room or a kitchen or really like your house in a way. Now, when you open up the front panel, you're going to have your controls right here. So with the controls, you can control everything. So first of all, here's heat, here is um, like fine heat adjustment, and then right here is where you can control the flame brightness. If we go back over here, this is gonna be completely off. You can have it set to have just the flames on, and then like I said, you can control the flames uh, and their brightness right here. It does look a lot better when the lights are down low, so let's go ahead and turn one of these lights off so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, so like I said, you can control the flames. Now, if you want to turn this on, all you have to do is come over here. You have two different heat settings. One is hotter than the other. So you have one little wave and two little waves. We'll go ahead and go with the first wave. And then what we need to do is just fine tune the heat. And we'll turn this just all the way up and make this heat mode one more high. And you guys are going to watch right here how fast these get red. Um, this thing gets really warm. So just know that. If you guys do need a new electric fireplace for a large area, 
I think that this one's gonna be really good for it. Now building this is very straightforward. All you have to do to get this set up is install this little handle right here, which I, I think I did wrong, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, and then install the feet on it and then that's it. That's all you gotta do. Um, it's very sturdy. I think you guys would really like this fireplace. You guys can already see that right down here, this is blowing out red hot. Um, so yeah, that's actually kind of nice. I'm kind of cold a little bit. So yeah, that's real, real nice. So if you guys need a new electric fireplace, definitely check this one out from Airmate. They just keep making good products every time I've tested something from them. Um, it's always been high quality. So yeah, let's go ahead and turn that back just to the flames. And we'll switch over to the next product, which is the Apex Forge. You so want, I'm telling you, Joanna, it's nice. It's so nice. So, so nice. You know, it's wild. It's not even like, it's a two prong. I think I need to, I honestly think I need to go back and replace all of the outlets in my house or replace a lot of the outlets in my house because a lot of them are, um, a lot of them are two pronged outlets, not grounded. Can I just swap them out? Probably not because two prong outlets usually aren't grounded. I don't know. What? I have to figure it out. I need to replace outlets. I know how to do it, but I just need to do it. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's see, give me one second, chat. So the next product we're gonna look at is this guy right here. So this is the Apex Forge I-Ring laser measuring tool. You might be asking yourself, how the heck is this going to measure anything? It does so with a laser on the bottom and it has this nice little loop right here. The loop does nothing. I thought it did at first, but it, it really doesn't. So the way that you're gonna see your measurements is by holding down the power button. When you hold down the power button, you're gonna see right there, we have uh, zero, zero. So what this is gonna be great for is measuring distances, but you have to subtract three inches from this because this is three inches. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll give you a scenario. Say we're measuring walls in a house. Say we're measuring walls in a house. Uh, so let me find. Another box here. So say these are two walls in your house. Let me grab another tape measure. We'll measure the distance. We'll make it an even distance somehow. Let's line these two things up just like that. See the distance on this. So let's just make this exactly one foot apart from each other. So these are now one feet from each other. What you need to do if you wanna measure the distances is first of all, turn it on. You're going to place the laser just like that against the first place that you want to, um, or like the first wall that you're gonna measure from. And then you're gonna press the laser just one time, just like this. And what it's gonna do is turn the laser on. It might be hard for you guys to see that. You can see the laser right down here at the bottom or on my hand, maybe, I don't know. No, you can't, you can't see the laser on my hand. So I'm gonna press this. And as you guys can see right there, we have one foot away. Wait, hold on. One and one sixteenths, you subtract six or you subtract three inches because that's the size of this, and then you'll have your measurement. So I actually want to try this out. Like, I want to try this out fully. So let's do from let's do from here to the wall and see how far I am away from the wall. So we're gonna hold it right at my hip. We're 54 inches from the wall, and then we will try it again, but with this. So we should be around 56 inches from the wall. And 56 inches. 
Because then you subtract the three and you have your measurement. So, I mean, it's that simple. That's a, I wouldn't, I'm not going to lie to you. I probably wouldn't trust this as much as I would just a standard tape measure. You know, because there could be a ton of variables between this and, uh, between this and what you're doing. But if you guys just need quick, rough measurements, something like this is going to be really good for that. So uh, definitely check this guy out. I think you guys might really like this. This is a really good gift. I know we just already, I know we just missed Christmas, but this would have been such a good Christmas gift, honestly. Honestly. Uh, now we have something that some, that you guys are going to, ah, dang it, I shouldn't have done that. We have something that you guys are going to have to teach me how to use. If I'm being honest with you, you guys are going to teach, you guys are going to have to teach me how to use this right here. Let's get that Bill's Mafia right there. So I don't really know where rotary tools come into play. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you guys, I know we just watched Tyler mess with his, his Apex Forge rotary kit the other day. Uh, Darren, somebody, anybody help me. I don't use power tools often. And when I do, it's still Secchi's. Dang it, we just got sued. So let's go ahead and show you guys everything that comes with this rotary kit. Remove grout. Huh, like to re-grout stuff? I did, I, I filmed my review on this last night, and I didn't like really test it. I need to go, I need to grab something to test it. Sharp, spinny things cut, blunt, shiny things sand. Okay, so I know, okay. So you can use it to make like fine-tuned cuts, fine-tuned um, sands, sand small items. Oh, let's try it. Let's let's sand. Uh, let's sand Gengar live right now. So you have this hard shell case that's going to come with it. First of all, that's I think that's really nice. On the inside, uh, you have a bunch of stuff that most of it I don't recognize. I believe this is some type of guard, right? This is some type of guard, just so stuff's not splashing back at you. Okay, so we'll set that aside. You're going to have sandpaper right here, or like sandpaper wheels, really. A bunch of different sizes. Uh, this. And you can see that this thing does things. I don't know what that does yet. Maybe we should just read the instruction manuals. I've used a lot of different power tools. I mean, I've done a lot of trade work. I just, I've never had to use one of these, so I don't really know. A bunch of, I'm assuming, just different heads and attachments. It's like a Dremel, basically. Isn't, Dremel's a brand, right? And they're really popular. So we even have, like, little foam pads. Like, I assume those are little foam buffer pads. We have, like, replacement springs. The router base. Um, and then we have, how do we attach different sandpaper wheels to this? I'm assuming this guy right here. Because it looks like this guy is just going to go over. The sandpaper is going to go over this. So we'll set that aside. I think we're going to need that. Uh, and then it looks like you also have this. This looks like it's going to be a handle. Let's uh, try to keep this all together. This looks like it's going to be a handle. But where is this going to install? Where does this install? Let's see what happens if I unscrew this. If I unscrew this, put this over. Put this over like this. No. No. What is that lid? This lid right here? Should we be wearing safety goggles? Oh, you got a little hook right here in case you need to hang this from a tool belt. I just realized that. I'm trying to figure out how this installs on here. I, I want to say it goes right here, but... To be honest with you, I'm not sure. In top of lid. Okay. Okay, okay. So there's some different sanding wheels and or some we got a little this isn't an Allen key. I don't know what this is. This isn't an Allen key though, because it's smooth faced. Uh, but there's a bunch of different, you know, grinding wheels. Gonna put that back in there. Oh, you're talking about this. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought this was an extension, but it doesn't look like it is now. Someone's saying a stethoscope. 
here is the inside of this. It might not be an extension. Oh, great. Good luck to me getting this back in. Oh, this wasn't that difficult. Never mind. And come on. There we go. Okay, so that's back in. We'll leave that. Maybe this is what we need to use now to install this. Uh, see, I don't know what this is for. Look at the pictures on the product. Yeah, so the pictures on it don't actually show. Remove the shaft collar. Metal ring. Nope, that's not how that works. Let's just not mess with that right now. Uh, let's get it plugged in so I can at least see how it operates. And then that might help me out a little bit. A scissor sharpening tool. Oh, look at the pictures on the product on the screen. Yeah, it doesn't show the handle installed. Let me actually, I'll click the link. Let me click the link and see if that's going to help. Did they give you the mini jack box, Chuck, or is it threaded collet? I got this right here. I mean, that's just like a, I don't know. This is weird. I've never used, I've never used one of these in my life. Right now, I wish my like just like general knowledge training would kick in, but of course it's not. Okay, so we have it plugged in. Let's see how we operate. That's lock. Okay, so we just turned it on. All right, where was that little... How do these stay on here is what I want to know. Do you have to loosen it first? Kind of like a, you know, a drill bit or like a, a stainless steel chuck. I'm trying to figure out how, how do you get a new like bit in there? Let's put this back on first of all, because I think this needs to be on and I don't want to be wrong and mess something up. But now my thing is, is how in, how on earth, oh, I see, like this. There we go. Okay, so you have to push down the lock button. You have to push down the lock button, and then you can twist this so you can get a bit in there. So let's now tighten it back down around that bit. And now, okay, so now we can choose... A different sandpaper wheel and I'm assuming this is just gonna slide over the end of this right no I'm wrong apparently we also didn't tighten it down enough okay, let's see something here give me that bone oh yeah it does it just slides over I would do it before it looks like you want to it looks like you definitely want to do this before Okay, so we have that on. We have a little sandpaper wheel attached to this bit. We're gonna push this button in so we can loosen this back up. Push the bit back in just like that and then tighten it back down. My thing is, is it doesn't wanna like, I don't want it to move out. So then now we can go in here and we can sand. Let's see how well this works. Oh yeah. Immediately. So look at the bottom of that. If it, yeah, I know if I'm just like testing it out to see. Oh yeah, it eats it up immediately, like without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, that thing has a ton of power. You can see it was eating it up. I wonder if Nate is authorized to use such tools. Sarge, the answer to your question is 100% without a shadow of a doubt, no. I should not be authorized to use these tools. Yeah, there's buffer wheels included. Uh, I'll do some more research and actually figure out exactly all the ins and outs of this and how it works, how you get it set up. 
Uh, this guard looks like it's going to unscrew and then screw back onto it. Maybe I should have been using the guard, if I'm being real with you guys. Looks like the guard's pretty easy to install, though. All you got to do is just twist the guard on, just like that. Yep. You just twist the guard on. So now we have a guard. So if I'm sanding something and something shoots out, it's not going to shoot me in my eyeball. So that's pretty neat. Uh, but yeah, that's the Apex Forge rotary tool uh, showcased poorly by It's Me, Truly, Your Boy, Nate. I did better than Tyler, huh? Oh, I learned quick. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, it does come with the... You guys let me know. Do all rotary tool sets usually... Yeah, I'm, not, I'm definitely not cutting metal in here. Do all rotary tool sets usually come with uh, all of these attachments? Or does it just depend on like what bundle you buy? What's up, Spud? Welcome to, back to the stream, Spud. Oh, I didn't see you. Had, you had actually just talked. I just saw that you had actually just you just said hi before this. So I'm assuming this is the handle area. It is the handle area. Where do you go then? You've got to have a special home. Let's get all of this back in here. Just kind of set this back up briefly. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah, a hundred percent without a doubt. Uh not cutting metal and also 100 percent without a doubt how did all of this how was all of this in here before there's no shot it was all in here let's just close it oh okay the lid's a little bit bigger than it needs to be there you guys go poorly showcased but nonetheless showcased nonetheless it was showcased that is the Apex Forge M6 Rotary Toolkit. Uh, normally 70 bucks. Ah, gosh. Normally 70 bucks on sale today for $39.08. Big shout out to Apex Forge for sending this to me. Now we're going to switch over to the next product. Um, Evans, let me get a follower check. How many more do we need? You guys can see Puppy right there. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, Ninja. Hey, buddy, Ninja. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Four more. We need four more followers. Oh my gosh, my crooked fingers. We need four more followers to do an Amazon gift card giveaway. Uh, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the next product in the carousel, and I'll be right back. I'm going to use the restroom. Uh, we're going to look at the Anchor Nebula Capsule Max. And I will be right back, my friends. Hey, what's going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, I am super excited to showcase to you yet another awesome projector from Anchor. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Anchor Nebula Capsule Max. This is an absolute brute whenever it comes to small form factor projectors. And being that- Two it's more followers, chat. Amazing. This is going to be a 720p- We need two more followers to do an Amazon gift card giveaway. Evans, if you could share just the link, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live while I use the restroom, that would be great. Projector, it's gonna have 200 ANSI lumens, a 9,700 milliamp battery. So you're gonna be able to run this and watch your favorite movies, TV shows, whatever it is, just on the battery life. You don't even have to have this plugged in. It's gonna run on Android 8.1, so you're gonna have all of your favorite apps. And this is just a beast. So let's just go ahead and dive right into the review. Take a look at it up on my wall behind me because we're not going to be using a projector screen or projector paint. We're just going to be casting it right on the wall. And I think you guys will be surprised just how good this looks. So before we actually dive in and show you guys, I just want to show you around the projector a little bit. You guys can see right here that this is a thick boy and it is definitely very well made. Kind of this aluminum all metal housing. The speaker grill wraps all the way around it. Taking a look at the top, you're going to have controls in case you ever lose your remote, which I definitely tend to do. On the bottom here, you're gonna have your auxiliary port, so you can use this with 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cables to plug this into a surround sound. HDMI, so you're not limited to just the apps that are on this. You can plug in your PlayStation, Xbox, your Nintendo Switch, your Blu-ray player, whatever it is. USB port right there, and then your DC power in. And on the bottom, you're going to have a little quarter inch thread right here, and this is gonna allow you to put this on a projector. Now this is 200 ANSI lumens, a 9700 milliamp battery. 
and it does have autofocus. Let's go ahead and get this turned on and see how good it looks. All right, so we got this all set up and we got signed in and you guys can see that right here, this is Android 8.1, but they are running a skin version, kind of like their own proprietary skin version of it. Taking a look right here, you guys can see that you have that HDMI input selector, file manager, app manager, network settings. Inside of the settings itself, you're gonna be able to go in here and manage all of these different settings. Let's go to the projector because that's what's important. Under image mode, you're gonna have your options between auto, standard, and battery mode. So we'll back out of that. You're gonna have color temperature settings and auto keystone correction. We'll go ahead and turn that off because I wanna show you guys something that's pretty cool that you can do with this. So if you guys are casting this to multiple walls or you're just moving it around in speed as well, but the processor on your projector is gonna make a big difference and that is not going to be an issue with this projector. All right, so we have this video loaded up. One of the things I wanted to point out is you guys might notice that there's some scan lines. This is not going to be happening in real life. You guys don't see those lines at all. You guys can just see that that is only due to my frames per second on my camera, but the colors on this just pop and they just look so vibrant and true to life. And the craziest thing to me is that this isn't even using a projector paint or a projector screen itself. This is just on a gray. And so there you guys have it. That is the Anchor Nebula Capsule Max. Um, so the next projector that we're going to be talking about on the show, what's up, buddy? What are you doing? What are you doing with that bone in your mouth? What are you doing? What are you doing? We got a big old fat boy come and visit, guys. Big old chunky ninja. You going to lay down? You going to lay down right there? Right there and chew on your bone? Yeah, that bone that we gave them yesterday, it's it's pretty much gone already. They've They've all taken turns. Like, it's like they've been doing shifts. Like, all right, man, I'm tired. Your turn. Tear it up. Uh, but yeah, welcome Yasmin and Ashley, or Yasin and Ashley, sorry. Uh, the next part we're going to look at is this Anchor Nebula um, Cosmos. So this is the 1080p version of this projector. It does come in a 4K version. Uh, this is going to have Android 9.0 built into it. It's going to have autofocus, auto keystone correction, Google Assistant, tons of ways that you are able to connect devices to this. It's gonna have an optical port right there, which is really nice, so if you wanna pair this up with a really good sound system, you can. It's gonna have two USB ports, so you can plug in a mouse and a keyboard if you wanna use that to control it. Two HDMIs. One of these HDMIs is actually an HDMI ARC, um, which if you guys know what HDMI ARC is, it's pretty cool. And then you're gonna have your power cable right here as well as your power button. Now this one also has Dolby Digital Sound built into it. You can see the speaker grill on this wraps around the entire body of this. And then whenever you turn this on right up here on top, this is going to have Nebula controls right up here on the top of it too, which is really nice. I made the mistake of getting my dogs a three foot long plushy dog yesterday. It lasted a whole five minutes. Rest in peace, purple dog. Too young, five minutes. Any mounting on the bottom, David, yes. You have your quarter inch thread. Um, so you can use this with, you know, a quarter inch adapter. So you could use this on uh, no comment. Darren, that's what she said. Uh, you can see that right there, right on the bottom, quarter inch thread. So you can put this on a tripod um, or really any other mount that, you know, has a quarter inch thread on it. You could use an adapter, obviously, like quarter inch to half inch or something if you need to do it that way. Um, yeah, check that out. Well, you learn from mistakes. So, Sarge, you were, wanting to be, you were wanting me to make a mistake on that. That is ridiculous, but completely understandable. <laughs> okay, I see, Darren. I see what you did there. Um, so, yeah, this is a $6.99. $6.99. Um, with a $140 off clickable coupon, it's 900 ANSI lumens. It is 4K supported, so um, if you plug in something that's native 4K, it will still play it. It'll just obviously downscale it to 1080p. HDR10, Android 9.0, 900 ANSI lumens, 1080p. Um, you guys really can't go wrong with this. If I didn't have the Cosmos Laser 4K, I 100% this would be my daily driver for football games. Um, I'm telling you guys, this thing looks great, and I don't think you would be upset with this uh, projector. Well, I know for a fact you wouldn't be. I know for a fact you would not be. Again, guys, don't forget, we need two more followers, just two more followers to do a gift card giveaway. 
Um, so if you guys aren't following, make sure you guys hit that follow button. Um, when we get two more followers, we will do our first Amazon $5 gift card giveaway. Uh, moving on in the products, we're kind of moving into like the car area. We have this Astro AI uh, portable car vacuum. This thing works really well. Just know that, you know, vacuuming up sugar or put it, really putting sugar down on a desk that might have moisture on it somehow is not the best option. Uh, Rochelle Warren, everybody welcome Rochelle to the stream. Thank you so much for following. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, also, Rochelle, feel free to introduce yourself. Say something in the chat. Um, everybody here is nice. You don't really have to watch out for anybody. Maybe Evans. I'm just kidding. Maybe Vicky. Definitely Vicky. Uh, yeah, feel free to say hi in the chat. Let us know what kind of products you're looking for today, and uh, we'll see if we got something that you might like. So this is the Astro AI portable car vacuum, my, my friends. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathana with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Astro AI portable car vacuum cleaner. I've worked with Astro AI products before, and they make great products, so this should not be any different from that. Taking a look here as we're unboxing this, you get this long tube, which feels very well made. We'll go ahead and toss that to the side. It's going to come with a carrying case that is outlined in this orange lining, which looks really nice. It has double zippers. Taking a look on the inside here, when we unbox it, it looks like they're going to send you an extra filter pretty cool of them to do that and then you're also going to get this little brush attachment that's going to allow you to get into those nooks and crannies for hard to reach dirt and debris continuing on you're going to have another attachment head right here we'll go ahead and take that out of the plastic and as you can see here it's a little brush attachment head so pretty cool and then continuing on they're going to send you another filter with this so it's pretty cool that they're sending all these extra filters to keep this thing up and running and then, of course, you're going to have the unit itself, but we'll come back to that here in a second. You are going to get this 12-volt plug-in, so you can power this thing directly from your car's 12-volt outlet. It feels really well made, and it even has these little grips at the bottom. And overall, the usage and design of this vacuum is very simple to use. As you guys can see here, it's toned out in this kind of shaded gray, black, and red pattern, which looks really nice. Removing the little compartment here is very easy. Just push that button on the top, and then right here, you're going to have the little spot for your filter. It is fit in there snugly, but that's good because it's not going to move around while you're vacuuming. All right, and so to test this product, what we're going to go ahead and do is basically just pour some sugar all over my desk. Now, this is high risk, high reward. Uh, sugar is obviously, as you guys know, very, very fine. That's so I'm taking a right. big liberty with my health if my wife sees me doing this by showing you guys how powerful this is. Yo, what's up, Lori Lynn? Welcome. Welcome back. How are you today? The extra pieces that the Astro AI couldn't get. All right, so we've got the Astro AI powered up. And as you guys can see here, you have this nice little LED light here on top so you can see where your vacuum and make sure you're getting everything up. So we'll go ahead and turn that on and it is on right now. So let's go ahead and push this down into the sugar and hopefully clean this all up before my wife gets home and doesn't absolutely end me. And as you guys can see here, it's doing an absolutely great job picking up all of this sugar. Now, obviously it's not going to be able to get every single little piece of sugar that is on my desk but right here it's going to work really well for what i'm doing and as you guys can see here it's just picking everything up really nice it is filling up pretty quickly that is the only downside to this vacuum but it does work very very well so the Astro AI definitely works and picks up a lot of debris and dirt that you will have in your car or really anywhere if you're able to power it with that 12 volt outlet if you guys have been looking for a new vacuum i highly recommend this one and i'll see you on the next video there you guys have it. That is the Astro AI portable car vacuum. 20 bucks is a really great price for that. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, moving on, we have the Astro AI car jump starter. This is a 2000 amp portable phone charger. Um, it has a flashlight built into it. And then it also can jump start your car. Uh, LOK, just thought I would ask, do you know who is doing it? Just curious. Uh, the only other two people that stream for shocks is either David, it's either David or um, something garage. That's gonna sound really mean. Oh, U Tech is what we're talking about, David. Um, Chris Garage? No, not Chris Garage. Not Chris Garage. I know Chris Garage. Um, dang it. I can't think of it. 
I don't know. I don't know who's going to stream tonight. It will not be me. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this jump starter real quick. UGT. Yes, UGT. Sorry. What is that? Uh, upgrade Garage Tech? I'm gonna sound, that sounds really mean, but I don't, I don't know what it stands for. <laughs> oh, that's how you guys feel? Okay, no comment. No comment. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, 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 whoa! <laughs> Hold on, bucko! Hold on, bucko, that's not the right video. We're gonna look at this live. We're gonna draw something pretty. Hold on. That's how, you guys wanna know... You guys want to know the top five ways you know a white person is mad? No, top three ways. The top three ways you know a white person is mad at you is if they say, listen here, pal. That's number one. Now just hold on a second, bucko. That's number two. And number three is, now you done it. Now you done it. If, if you hear a white person say those three things, you, you done it. Facts. Hashtag facts. Or if they say oi. Maybe in like the UK. I never really hear anybody say oi here. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, I am excited to showcase to you guys the Astro AI USB car jump starter. The Astro AI car jump starter is absolutely awesome. This thing features an 8,000 milliamp battery, which is absolutely insane. It's got a very rugged build quality with a ton of built-in options that are going to allow you to feel safer when you're driving, hiking, traveling, anything like that. Taking a look at the top here, you can see that we have multiple different outputs. We have a 12 volt, a 5 volt USB, and another 5 volt USB 2.0. We also have an input to charge this machine. I'm not saying he is. I just know those were the only other two people that have done the shock stream. So it could either be UGT or it could possibly even be, yeah, it could be UGT or it could be UTEC. I need a pair of shocks. Taking one, you're like, all right, all right. Hey, don't bark at me. With USB C, and then you also have the location where you're going to plug in the jumper cables, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Flipping. I don't speak dog. You have to speak human if you want me to understand what you're trying to say to me, doggo. Around back to the front, whenever we turn this on, you can see here that we have 76% battery life, so it is cool that they send it to you pre charged and ready to go. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and show you some of the features that are built into this. There aren't a ton of features, but it's a very simple machine. Taking a look at the right side of the unit over here, you're going to notice that you have this LED housing. And what this is, is an actual built-in flashlight that's going to allow you to illuminate the area if you get stranded in the dark so you can see. So it does have this one brightness setting here, as well as this strobe effect to kind of flag down potential rescuers or people that might be able to help you out. And then also has built-in SOS, which is being displayed here in Morse code. And then one more press of this button and you're going to get this red light right here, which is good in situations where you don't want to blind somebody and you don't want to make it too bright and to install the connectors to jump start your vehicle if you're ever in that situation unfortunately all you have to do is just i don't know who jim is but if you guys need a new uh jump starter for your car it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it this is facts this is factual uh let's go ahead and take a look at the next product which we got is the car carvass Carvis, maybe I should have said that. <laughs> I'm so happy you guys can't clip. I'm so happy you guys cannot clip. Is this what you guys say about me? This is what you guys say about me when I'm not here. <laughs> what am I drawing? Alright, so check this out. Uh, this comes in multiple colors, by the way. It's powered by a CR2032 battery. It's got a little stylus right here that doesn't do anything. Uh, check this out. Wow. Nope. Let's restart. 
Ooh, no. Didn't like the way that W started. Wow. Nate has such pretty hand writing. I feel like it got progressively worse. But you guys can see it does like a gradient color. You see that? Oh, I think I, I think I finally realized how the gradient works. There's certain sections in here that changes color. So like you see we have green, like a teal, green, orange, green, teal. Let's try that. I think if we draw right here, if we draw right here, it's gonna be orange. So let's erase it and then draw a line right down the middle right here and see if that's gonna be orange. Oh, I'm wrong. I don't, then I don't know how it works. What if I what if I color this all in? Can we color completely in? Yeah, it looks like we could color this completely in if we wanted to. I don't know. Is there like a material behind this? How does this work? Somebody give me give, somebody give me something to draw. I'm gonna draw the world's best car right right now. It's biscuits. It's gravy, babe. I know I'll be in your arms. Dude, <laughs> you guys already know that car has at least 500 horsepower. That looks more like a turtle than a car. Here, I, here. You guys might be thinking this looks like a four year old drew it, but wait. But wait. This might look like a four-year-old drew it, but all I have to do is add one little touch and then it's gonna completely change and be hyper-realistic. You ready? Hyper-realistic. So let me, add a, let me add a couple details. All right, you guys ready for this? Dang, how does he do it? How does he do it? Good God, oh, man. Oh my goodness. That guy can draw. Don't call don't call me Picasso. But if the shoe fits, the shoe fits. So you can erase it. You say you see if I like draw on it, you can just hit this button. It goes away. If you don't want it to go away while you're drawing, you can pull this little, like, just click that. So now when I draw, and I'm like, oh, wow. Oh, so sweet. And I hit the button. It doesn't do it. Click that back over. It's gone. So you guys give me a vote. Tell me which name looks the best in here. Oh, I got to restart. Okay. Who else we got? We got David. Who else we got? Who else we got, chat? Where's my mouse? Brenda. We'll go with Sheila next. Oh, that was a nice five. That five felt perfect. It's like the Powers Taxi. Uh, beep, 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 beep. That's all, folks. We'll go with Istvan. Where'd you have that? Where'd you have that? Uh, Joanna. Let's go with Joanna. Oh, that J was something. That was butter. That J went down like butter. It's biscuits. It's gravy, babe. We'll go Terry. You know what? I need to be in here, too.
You know, I tried to be special and write my name in handwriting to give myself a competitive edge over you guys, and it didn't work out the way I thought it was going to, so whatevs. Travel Diva. We'll go with Travel Diva. Well, Travel Diva gets a number 11 for some reason. Oh, that A. That A went down like butter. Am I missing? Lori. We got to go with Lori Lynn. Oh, that Y on that. Okay, here we go. What name looks the best? Just put the number. Ashley says Ashley. Hold on. We're running out of space here. Let's go with Ashley. Oh, that A on Ashley was perfect. Oh, Ashley is going to... Yep, Ashley wins. Ashley wins. Which name looks the best? I feel like Ashley wins 100% all day. Wait, we have Tech Girl. Need more room? I guess if I would have went this way. Okay, we're, okay, you know what? I'm sorry. We got to restart. We got to restart. Here we go. All right. Everybody write your name right now. Or just everybody type a period. How many names do you have? He has a, a lot, apparently. Okay, so there's Evans. There's Darren. There's Travel. I'm just going to do Travel for Travel Diva. We got Ashley. We got Lori. We got uh, Tech Girl. I'll just do Tech. Oh, Tech Girl went down nice. Tech Girl's got an edge right now. We got Samantha. Let's go. Oh, I don't know, guys. Samantha's went down like butter. Samantha's went down like butter. Lydia. Oh, the Y on Lydia was perfect. Calligraphy. Rising. We got Rising. What's up, Rising, by the way? Welcome. Welcome back, really. Let's go with uh, 10 here. Who am I missing? Who am I missing? Joanna. Eleven. Uh, Isvan. We gotta go back with Isvan. Oh, the eye on Isvan was beautiful. I messed up at the end there. E Sheila. We gotta go with Sheila. Oh, I don't know. All right, who am I missing? Brenda. Here we go, Brenda. Rising Siren. I'm going to write Siren because that's that'll be nice. One more new follower. That's all we need. That's all we need. David. Um, I feel like we're all caught up, right? I feel like we're all caught up. We got Tech Girl. We got Evans. It's biscuits. It's gravy, babe. All right. Put the number of which one looks the best. Oh wait, we gotta get, we gotta do my name. I did Nathaniel. There we go, guys. Which one is it? Whose name looks the best on this board? Put the number. Be honest. You can vote for yourself. Thirteen, of course. Evan says one. Sislak says, or Isvan says eleven. Lydia. Three looks the best. Travel. 8 is Lydia, 12 is Sheila. <laughs> I see you guys are very <laughs> You guys are very modest humans. You guys are very modest, I see. Most people are putting their <laughs> their, their their own name. 
You really think mine looks the best? That's what you say? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out which ones like just went down the smoothest. I already did. I did Rising and, and Siren. I feel like you guys are sleeping on Darren's right now. Look at look at number two. I feel like you guys are kind of sleeping on that. I feel like number two. All right, we gotta we gotta we gotta limit this down to a tournament. So I need serious votes right now. Okay, let's make this. Don't vote for yourself. Serious tournament. Put your number down now. Only put one. Only put one number down. I gotta see which number has the most. Okay, so we got Lydia nine. Eight, eight. So we have two eights, three eights already with Lydia. Three eights. We have three eights so far. So eight is making it to the finals. So Lydia's making it there. Or the semifinals. Lydia's making it to the semifinals here. Uh, that's the first time. Number 12. So we have Sheila. So Sheila's making it and number eight. So we have Lydia, Sheila, and who else is making it? I need to see more votes on one more number. I don't we have we don't have two numbers on one of them. So we have three for travel. Ten. So we have eight, twelve, and ten. I saw multiple. So eight, twelve, and ten. So we're gonna have Lydia. Joanna and Sheila. Here we go. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm giving everyone a fair shot. Nope. That, I, I'm, I'm giving everyone as much of a, a fair shot. So we have Lydia. Nope. Nope. I'm trying to I'm trying to do the best. We have to see who's making it to the finals here. This is important. Lydia, Joanna, and who is the who is the second one? Who okay, so we have Joanna. Who is the third one? Oh, that J went down like butter. Oh dang. Joanna looked good. Sheila, that's right. All right, here we go. Oh, that S, that S was insane. Oh, I didn't like the I. I can't. I I didn't like the E. I can't go back now. All right, cast your votes. Cast your votes. She got votes too. All right, you know what? Here we're gonna we're gonna narrow it down. We gotta. Uh, let's do right here number four. All right, there's four. There's number four. Cast your votes. Cast your votes. So we have two votes for number two. Three votes for number two. Number Joanna is going on to the... This is quarterfinals. One person is getting eliminated here. Joanna has already secured the spot. Joanna has secured the spot. So Joanna's going on to the finals here. Or you guys remember, only vote once. The V was weak. The V was kind of weak, honestly, yeah. All right, so Joanna's made it. Okay, let me let me let me tally the votes real quick. All right, Joanna made it, and I gotta find the. F I'm gonna start back up at the top when you guys started voting. Okay, so we have two, one, and one. All right, so Joanna and Lydia move on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sheila. Joanna and Lydia move on so far. Now I need to see the next vote real quick. So, Joanna, Lydia. 
We have Sheila. Four, four. And, yep, one, two, and four. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Sheila. <laughs> sorry, Sheila. Okay. Let's go. So we have Travel, Joanna, and Lydia in the semifinals. Here we go. You guys aren't going to see what I'm doing. No, that looks bad. It's been so long since I've actually done like proper cursive. All right. All right. That's it's, it's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. Okay. You guys are just gonna have to. You guys are gonna have to bear with me. What's up, Lori? What's up, Lori? <laughs> okay. Now we got travel. I don't even remember how to do a capital T. Okay, hold on. With with proper with proper hand with proper cursive, you should never have to lift your you should never have to lift your pen. I know that. Oh, Joanna's gonna be tough for me. Okay, hold on. Oh, that looks so bad. We have to, we have to go with it. We have to go with it. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here are the finals. Here are the semifinals, guys. Cast your votes now. Cast your votes. I'm I'm sorry. I am sorry. But you have to do it. You have to do it. Cast your votes. We got Lydia at number one, Travel at number two, and Joanna at number three. Let's go. Zero. I, I know. For finals, we're not doing it. Okay, here. Here. We're restarting. We are not doing... No, okay. <laughs> we're not doing cursive. Just on pure calligraphy and how smooth the letters went down. And I am going to do my best right now, restarting. No cursive, so the votes... Disregard the votes. We're Nevada right now. Those votes don't exist, apparently. Uh, okay. So, let's go. One. We got... Lydia. That was... That was smooth. That, that was smooth. Lydia was... I don't know. And then, we got... Joanna. I messed up. Oh my goodness. I, I, I put J-A. Dang it, Lydia. You just had like serious contention right there with the way I, I wrote your name down. Serious contention. Uh, Number two. We've got Joanna. Let's not spell it wrong here, Nate. Oh. Oh. It just, oh, it just kept getting better. Joanna's just kept getting better there. Okay, Travel Diva. Oh, I messed up on your E. Travel. I'm sorry. Let me let me redeem it here with the diva. Okay, cast your votes. Let's go. Cast your votes. Cast your votes now. Who's making it to the finals? We got Joanna at number two. Joanna has moved on. Joanna has moved on. Yep. I don't have any votes for second place. All right. The voting has been closed. The fording hat the the fording, <laughs> the voting. What? Okay, so we, Joanna moved on. Then we got number three for Travel Diva. Number three for Travel Diva again. Number three for Travel Diva again. Tra Lydia has been in the lead the entire game. And Lydia just got eliminated. 
So it's Joanna and Travel Diva in the end. Here we go. Finals. Finals. Let's go. One. Joanna and Travel Diva at the end. Oh, that J was butter, guys. I cannot mess up the rest of this. That was that was good. And then Travel Diva, who's going to be the winner? Oh, the T. I messed up on your E again. What is going on? Same exact way I messed up on the last one, too. No, I, I got to be fair here. I got to be fair here. They both need to be perfect. They both got to be perfect here. Come on, guys. Smooth, smooth J. Two smooth ends. Nope. I'm not going until I feel like both of you guys, both of you guys got the best. You better go back with Lydia. Hey, that's rude. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Nah, that J was bad. That J was bad. No, that one was bad. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that, Joanna. That was smooth. All right, Travel Diva, let's see if we can get you down good. Oh, the T was beautiful. The R was beautiful. The A was bad. The V was perfect. The E was too big. The D was bad. That's what she said. The A, the V, I mean the I. Okay, and the finals. The finals. Cast your votes now. Who's going to win this imaginary game that we just made up? Oh, we got, oh, I don't know. I think I did travel diva dirty. I think I did travel diva dirty. I did travel diva dirty. <laughs> travel diva's trying to save herself. Oh no. Why did Joanna come out like perfectly in sync with each other? <laughs> oh no, guys. That's not good. It looks like Joanna's going to be the winner. Congratulations to Joanna. <laughs> the winner is... Watch, when I spell it now, it's going to be the best I've done so far. And it might actually be the best one I've done so far. <laughs> that, is, that is the best one I've done. Travel Diva is number two. Let's see if we can redeem real quick, and then we'll do our gift card giveaway. Nope. Let's see if we can at least redeem. There. Nope. 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 Joanna was the winner all day. I feel like hers is just like, because the O's and the A's and the N's. That one just goes down smoother. It just goes down smoother. He just made me not want this tab. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Let's do our gift card giveaway, but Mama Siren says she challenged me. Okay, guys. Here we go. Give me and Mama Siren one word. I'm going to do the very first word. Make it a good word that you think might be a pretty word. Mama Siren is going to... Mama Siren is going to draw it. Send me a picture of it, and then I'll show you mine. I need, the, I need just one word. Pineapple. Okay, it's pineapple. Mama Siren, draw a pineapple, send me a picture. I'll let these people be the, the judge. Just pineapple. You have, we have one minute. Hold on, hold on. Don't start yet. Don't start yet. 
Do not start yet. We have one minute to get the perfect pineapple. And three, two, one, go. It's pineapple. Not a good pee. Not a good pee. Oh, that one was good. Ah, nope. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Let's go. Come on. If I run out of time and I'm still spelling at the end, I just have to finish out whatever one that is. Fifteen seconds. Fifty five seconds. Okay, we're done. All right, Mama Siren, go. Pineapple. Here is my vote. I mean, here's my entry. I'm waiting for the picture from Mama Siren. Hasn't shown up yet. It didn't show up. On Discord, share. Oh, I thought you sent it to me directly. Okay, hold on. I didn't know we were doing cursive. I guess I guess I gotta go with it. All right. I guess I, I guess I gotta go with it. How do I zoom out? All right, guys. Here's my entry. Pineapple. Don't don't judge that. Mama Siren will say you can't avoid some of those lines. Sometimes it just happens. So there's pineapple, on me. And then whatever is <laughs> whatever that is. Hold on. It's biscuits, it's gravy, babe. And then there's Mama Sirens. Go. Go. Vote. Mine or Mama Sirens? Mine or Mama Sirens? Who who won? Who won this? Let's be real here. Yeah, she did. <laughs> she she dude, I got I got I got Molly Whopped. I got molly whopped. No, I got I got I got absolutely destroyed in that challenge. Does it see She did she did cursive. We're gonna do our gift card giveaway right after this. We we need one more challenge. One more challenge. Give us a word, no cursive. Just straight up calligraphy. Just how you write it down. One more word. Purple. Oh, that one's tough. That's a that's a tough word. The P's mess me up. And the R's. You can't make R's pretty. Knurling. Knurling's a good word. Let's go with knurling. Does that does that mean something bad? That doesn't mean something bad, right? I feel like you can make we got butter pollinate. See, po see the L's and the I's. Like, you can't make that pretty. I'm trying to think of like words that could look pretty. I feel like knurling could look really good. Uh, so let's go with. Let's just go with purple. You know what? In honor that she beat me bad the first time, we're gonna go with purple. Um, so Mama Siren, you know when the time starts. As soon as I hit go, we have we have one minute for purple and go. Just no no handwriting. Let's go. You did knurling? Okay, I'll do knurling too. Mm. 
Nah, can't do it. Can't use that one. Okay, I I'm taking that one. I'm taking that one. This is an L. This is an L right here. Mama Siren, send me the picture. Nerling. Let's go. Let's go. Let me see your picture. Let's see. Let's see Mama Siren's picture. She sent me the picture this time. I thought we were doing no no cursive. You know what? I can do that. I I can do that too, Mama Siren. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this isn't fair. Somebody else. Some, I don't want to play with Mama Siren anymore. Somebody somebody else here. Mama Siren or me? Mama Siren Or me. I don't know. This one's tough. Because I okay, let let's let let's talk about flaws on mine. Let's talk about flaws on mine. K isn't connected. The N goes perfectly into the U, but the U has a weird shape. It's not like a perfect, you know, like, it's not like a perfect oval at the bottom of the U right there. The R is a little bit weird. The L's jagged. The I is perfect. The N is great. The G could have used a bigger loop. Now let's critique Mama Sirens. K's got some scribblies right here. K's got some scribblies. The N could be confused for an M. The U is beautiful. The R looks kind of like a peninsula. It looks like Florida. The L scribbly. I is good. The dot's a little off center. The N, a little bit straight lined there. The G's got the scribblies. I'm trying to be completely honest on all of uh, both of these. So cast your vote. One for me, two for Mama Siren. And I I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. Let I'll show you guys one more time. One for this one. One for this one. Two for Mama Siren. I'll leave it. I'll I'll be I'll be honest. I I, I will. One for me, two for Mama Siren. Well, we gotta get all the votes in. Once you voted, do not um do not vote again or don't say anything so I can count them up. So there's mine. It might be a little bit harder to see. It looks like Mama Siren's in the lead right now. That one might have saved me from Samantha. Who's who? I'm one. Mama Siren is number two. I'm one. Mama Siren is number two. We have to go to we have to go to the finals though. That's the thing. We have to go to the finals because you won the first round. I won the first round. So we need a tiebreaker to end it all. So let me count the votes. It looks like everyone, it looks like everyone has voted. So I'm going to start right now. Everyone, make sure you vote. So one for me. There it is. One for me. And two for Mama Siren. One more time. One for me. Two for Mama Siren. You guys cast your votes. Don't vote twice. I'm going to count them up right now. All right, let's see. So the first vote I saw, we'll go with two. I see one vote, another vote, another vote. For one, I see one vote, one vote, one vote, one vote. 
One vote, we're tied up. One vote again. One vote, one vote. One vote. One vote, one vote. Okay, I'm stopping it there. I'm stopping it there. I don't know what. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's literally a tie. If I were to continue counting votes, it just makes it another tie again. All right, one more word, tiebreaker to win it all. We'll consider we we'll, we'll consider that a tie. Instant death round. I need a good word that's going to be pretty. The word is purple for tiebreaker. No cursive. No cursive, Mama Siren. Straight up, just calligraphy. Just how, how you would write it down if you were just writing purple on a piece of paper without doing that stuff. Draw the best. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. This is about handwriting, not artistic ability. Purple. We got purple here. All right, Mama Siren, you should win this. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that was rough. No, I need to not go down. I just need to go straight up. No, that is a gross. Wait, 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 wait. How do I restart? Okay. I have one minute. I have one minute. Oh, that was a good pee. No, I don't like it. What, what am I, 30 seconds? I'll, I'll cast, I'll, I'll stop it there. I'm, my vote is in, or my, my drawing is in. Oh, I have to restart. I have to restart. I have 50 seconds. I, this is my last attempt. Oh, no. No. I should have went with the last one. I should have went with the last one. Time's up. Time's up, Mama Siren. Send that picture. Send that purple. Oh, I got I to gotta tilt it somehow. Hold on. Can I rotate this? Save image as. I got to save it. Let's open it up in here. I got to rotate it. I got to rotate the picture. Give me a second. It came out like crooked in a way. How do I rotate the picture right there? There we go. Here we go. I that was that was I should have went with the one I had before. One for one for Nate. One for Nate, two for Mama Siren. Go. Cast your votes. This is sudden death. One Nate. Oh, that's a rough one. Two for Mama Siren. So we've got two. Has got one vote. Another vote. Another vote. Another vote. Another vote. Another vote. Another vote. I got, okay. You know what? Thank you, Arlene. I appreciate that. Very, very kind of you, Arlene. There we go. That's it. That's that's the answer. Mama Siren defeated me with that many votes. I mean, I just got another vote right there, but so did Mama Siren. Yeah, I got absolutely. I got molly whopped. I got absolutely handled right there. Congratulations to Mama Siren for absolutely destroying me, but just know just know this is not over okay this is not over nope mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. we got richard elfvin with the follow yeah. hey ow my finger ah. okay watch this Mama Siren couldn't have competed with this. If this would have been what we spelled, no competition. I'm winning all day. Watch Richard Elvin's, Elfin's name be spelled right here. Ready for this? 
Oh. Oh, it just keeps getting better. The H was kind of rough. Okay, it got rough. It got worse. She couldn't have competed with this. That's bad. Let's uh, let's not talk about that, okay? Sorry, Richard. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Let's do our gift card giveaway. <laughs> Mara Siren absolutely destroyed me in that competition. But just remember, it's not over, okay? It's not over. I feel like everyone, I feel like you guys need to purchase this. I challenge you guys, not because of commissions or anything. I don't care. I challenge you guys to buy one of these. Let me know when you get it, and then we all can play live. That sounds fun. Purchase one of these for 13 bucks. First of all, they're a ton of fun. Oh, I turned my wrist the wrong way. Let's uh, load up the giveaway page, because I got mollywopped. I got handled there. That was, that was rough. That was rough. Nate, go look at Blake's shirt. Okay. Don't forget to include the, the mail-in ballots. <laughs> Nate's not c counting Twitch votes. I gotta go see Blake's. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Yeah, you guys weren't lying. That's quite... Oh my gosh. That was rough. That was rough. All right. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to draw the first winner today. The first winner of the Amazon gift card is going to be... Travel Diva. She got third place in the running early, or second place, but she got first place for the gift card. Travel Diva, are you here? You are the winner, as you can see right there. Travel Diva, are you here? Whoever said you're not first, you're last, is losing. Come on, Travel Diva. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be here. There we go. She is here. Congratulations to Travel Diva. Dang, I can't believe how absolutely obliterated I got. You guys, seriously, one of you guys, some some of you guys need to order this little tablet right here. 13 bucks. it's on sale right now. You guys need to order this tablet so we can do competitions like this live. So we can do competitions like this live. If you guys do order the tablet, let me know. If you do order it, let me know. And uh, then we'll, we'll we'll figure it out. All right, that was that was fun. I actually that was that was a good time. I was saying you weren't lying. That was good. I like that. How did she, how did she draw in so quickly? She did that so fast. She did that so fast. All right, let's move on with the products. And we're going to look at the uh, the DRC200E brushless motor high-speed RC car. This thing is fun, guys. Will we be competing for a win or will everyone get a trophy? I don't know. Maybe we can make like an actual game out of it. I don't know. We have to have more people with the tablet, first of all. For, before we can do anything, we have to have more people with the the tablet. Joanna, you were like... Joanna won there at the end. It's just so fast. I, I, I wish you guys could see the videos I had. Listen to that. It's a beast. It, it's a beast. 
Uh, I know you guys haven't seen too much to go off of, but if you want an RC car, you'll be so impressed with how fast this thing is. You can do like sick burnouts and stuff. Uh, it's got so much power that whenever you're, it's got so much power that whenever you're driving on the sh like asphalt, not grass, and you just crank it one way and crank the power all the way up, it does donuts. Even with these tires that have all this traction, it just do it just does donuts. That's how much power it is. And if you're going full speed, if you're going full speed, let it get full speed, and then you turn it, it's got so much speed that whenever it turns, it'll flip. But they know this thing's gonna flip. That's why this this, this whole shell is just this plastic, this really like malleable, uh, like bendable plastic. So the plastic doesn't break. First of all, it's got this little uh, it's got this little bump uh, bump right here. So you can hit the heck out of this thing. I mean, you can beat this thing up. Uh, the DRC 200E is highly recommended. Dragon Blogger stamp of approval. There you guys go. That is the DRC 200E. That's an old video. I sh that 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 was like clipped from a live stream. But I need. I, <laughs> I'm still salty because I got absolutely just destroyed, as Darren would say. Would that have won? If that was my entry, would that have won? Be honest, would that have won or no? The L is bad, yeah it is. Mama Four started following, thank you so much. We need eight more followers now to uh, do another gift card giveaway. Let me try this in cursive. I don't know how you start a P out in cursive. I guess I do maybe. <laughs> that's bad that is way worse what did it what i don't know what that is you guys didn't see that you guys saw nothing uh, avert your eyes ladies and gentlemen you saw nothing ashley you need to go to dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live uh thank you ashley and mama four for the follow you guys are the real mvps of the stream www.dragonblogger.com <laughs> dot com forward slash enter live. it's been so long since i've wrote in cursive now you guys don't want to see me on a typing test okay that's what we're doing we're doing a multiplayer typing test on the stream today because you guys don't want to see me in that that's a i'm a problem there i'm a problem i meet face is not allowed to enter though i don't know if he's listening but he's not allowed to enter because he types at like 130 words per minute which has got to be like the top one percent of all people that type so I'm going to set up a multiplayer typing test during this next video, and you guys are going to go to the link and get entered. The death of cursive hurts me in the heart. What about signatures? Because my signature is very... It's like a doctor's signature. I'll show you mine. Wait, hold on. Dang it. That's my signature. It's like a doctor's signature. And it's kind of different every time, but if I just do cursive signature instead. All right, that's not a cursive signature. It's kind of like a, it's a weird, no, you guys didn't see that, okay? We're doing it, we're doing a, a typing test next and you guys are gonna get a link to get entered. Uh, so let's go with the Deco Pro 128 piece tool set. I'm going to load up the video and you guys prepare your keyboards because we're doing a typing test next. Desiree Halsey, thank you so much for following. We need six more followers, six more followers to do another gift card giveaway. Once you've hit that follow button like Desiree, you need to make sure you go to our website, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. What's up, Wiley? What's up, Wiley? Faustino's name looks fancy in cursive. Write that. I feel like I have better calligraphy when I don't write cursive because I don't practice cursive enough. So let me just do Faustino. That does that does sound like it could come out really nice. Oh. Oh, that was good. 
Yeah, that one was good right there. That was a good one. Now I'll try I'll try cursive. It's probably the best cursive I've done all day. Even though the F wasn't really cursive. All right, guys, here we go. This is the uh, Deco Pro 128 piece tool set. No, that's not right. I don't know. It's been so long. I, I forget how to connect certain words. We're going to check out this Deco Pro 128 piece tool set. Ooh, uh, Mama Siren, that was good. In metric. Mama Siren, that was real good. Which. I actually prefer over SAE. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and check this out. All right, so super, um, super strong case. Uh, it's a very thick, hard plastic. You have this soft touch material on your handle up here, and then you're obviously going to have your latches. I have not opened this, so we're gonna, we are going to go ahead and just open it live for you guys, maybe. All right, yeah, there we go. Got it open. And so as you guys can see... All right, here you guys go. You guys, go get on your computers right now, and you're going to go to this link right here. You're going to go to this link. Okay. Go to the link. Go to that link. And when you get to that link, this is what you're going to see. So right up here on the top right, put in your nickname. Put in your nickname. Go to that link, hurry guys. We're gonna we're doing a typing test after this video. So the link is right there. Go to that link. Choose, you know, set up your name. I'll go I'll go ahead and go with the goat. I'll go ahead and go with the goat. You guys go to the link. Get on your computer. We're gonna see who's gonna win. I, I can hit start game whenever, but we're going to finish this video. Hey, Bart, we're doing a typing test. If you're on your computer, go to this link right here. Make sure you go to that link right there. Uh, type in your name. I don't really know how that works. Save. What happens if I refresh? Okay, it's there. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. You have to, you have to go to a whole new link. I am so sorry, guys. I accidentally reset it doing that. There's the new link right there. Sorry, I'm so... I apologize. I'm so sorry. We'll go with medium difficulty, max 10 players. There's the new link in the chat right now. The new link is the last one I shared. You guys go there and get signed up. All right, let's, uh, let's finish this video real quick. Here, super large tool set comes with a lot of standard tools we'll go ahead and stand up so you guys can see this a little bit better uh, you got your little foam padding to protect these tools so you're going to have a hammer right here it's got a soft touch material on it hammer hammer feels really nice it's not too heavy go ahead and put that back you're going to have a few different um, you're going to have a few different bit sets with kind of a flexible holder yeah, so you have two of those, as you guys can see right here. You have two of those, go ahead and push that back in. Uh, you have your ratchet. This also feels- You guys, don't forget, if you guys want to play this multiplayer typing test, you need to go right here. We're doing it right after this video. I just shared the link again. Go, get, go there and uh, make sure you guys are entering in your name. You can enter in your name by going up here. Choose your icon. You can see Nate's up there. You can see Awesome Mom, Sheila B, Wiley, Savvy, Bernardo, Easy Black. Just like that. This is... There we go. Yeah, everything's built really nice on here. You're also going to have an, um, a screwdriver that you can add in those bits that I talked about earlier. Soft, much, soft touch material all the way around that. 
go ahead and keep going. Um, you have your crescent wrench right here and a pair of needle nose pliers. So this is a really, really complete set. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of these sockets right now. Sockets feel super sturdy, super strong. I mean, it is metal, so it's gonna feel strong regardless. But as you guys can see, that Deco, that Deco Pro um, tool set is really nice. It's a great tool set to just have around the house for just, you know, standard, you know, uh, jobs around the house, hanging pictures, tightening stuff up, loosening stuff. Um, just, it's a really nice general tool set, but it's everything is made with high quality um, components and parts. So definitely check that out. Deco Pro is really awesome. Made a really nice set with that. It's a 128 piece tool set for 50 bucks. Um, so I highly recommend it. But it is now time to do our typing test. And I know that some of you guys have a delay when I say this. So you guys need to be ready. Everyone that has, has went to the link, if you haven't been there and you do want to do the typing test, you need to go here right now. So you guys need to be ready because uh, right now, how many players do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven players. If you want to join in, now's the time because we're about to start the game. So the people that are entered, get ready because if I do a countdown, if I do a countdown, if I do a countdown, then what's going to happen is you guys aren't going to hear it. So you guys just have to get ready. Be at your computer and pay attention because the game is going to start. The game is going to start. We are on medium difficulty right now. Medium difficulty. So, uh, Desiree, you need to go to www.dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. You need to scroll down until you see the logo for Facebook, an envelope, Amazon, and Twitch. And that's where you get signed in. You got to scroll all the way down. But here we go. Lark, get ready. Lark, get ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go, guys. Oh. Oh, four, three, two, one. Who just absolutely destroyed me? Somebody just destroyed. Wow. Wow. I just got molly whopped there, guys. Where where where's the uh the scores right now? Where are the scores? Wait, I got first place? All right, so we got me at first place. We got Lark Prick. Who's Lark Prick? Who Whose name was that? In second at 44. Third at Bernardo. Fourth at Wiley. 
Yeah, I don't like how there's like dashes and and also Samantha messed me up. Sam Samantha messed me up because I was I assumed it was going to be Samantha. It turns out it wasn't at all. So we have to redo it. Are we all done here? Rocky Martins started following. Thank you so much. I think Awesome Mom timed out. Oh, the game has ended. So we got to do a new game. Are you guys still in here? Oh, wait, hold on. Lobby. Can I bring you guys back to the lobby? I can. Here you go. Just so you guys know, uh, we're about to get destroyed. Meatface, there's the link. Just so you know, we're about to get destroyed by Meatface. Mary Parker, thank you so much for following. All right, here we go, guys. I am Meatface. All right, we got Meatface in here. If anybody want, else wants to enter this, this typing test right now, the link is right here. I'll share it one more time. The link is right here. If anyone wants to do this typing test, I just shared the link. Go ahead and uh, I'll give you guys like 30 seconds. You guys, make sure you change your name. Make sure you change your name. Yeah, okay. You guys can change your name if you go right up here in the top right corner. Nostalgic, make sure you change your name. So we have uh, Lark Prick 85 that needs to change. And Turbo at Typing. <laughs> okay, we got it. You guys, if that's if Meatface is Turbo at Typing, oh no, it's Meatface, never mind. Oh. All right, looks like nobody else is entering, so we're going to start it. You guys get ready. You guys get ready. Here we go. Watch the timer. Watch the timer. Who? Hey, I just want to let you guys know we're getting destroyed by Meatface right now. Oh my gosh. That is tough. Oh no. Who's the alien? Savvy's not there. Savvy is not there, you guys. Meatface just absolutely obliterated us. I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake. I still did 107. I don't like the sentences. I like like 10 fast fingers because it's just words, you know? Wow, let's go back and see. Let's see the runnings right now. So meat face in first place at 107 words per minute. Nearly double me at 59 words per minute. Where's third place? Lark Prick at 52 words per minute. Victor Daniel Morales started following. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no, three more followers needed to do an Amazon gift card giveaway. All right, so the game's gonna end in 30 seconds. It looks like someone, uh... no, I saw it. It was, un it was unnecessary. Golly, man, 107 words per minute. So it looks like we have 
fifth place using a Spanish keep. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that sounds difficult. All right, so meat face first, me second. Uh, we got lark prick at third. Fourth, we've got. I wish it would just show like a the winners like right here somewhere like in order. It's not. It's not showing the winners in order. All right, so if you guys want to play this again, just stay in this lobby. Stay in this lobby. If you guys want to join up later, that's the link. Just stay in the lobby. Just, open, you know, don't open a new tab. Uh, we're going to move on, though, and take a look at this East Oak uh, Patio Smokeless Fire Pit next. Now, there, I literally cannot show you guys this live on hand. I could not do it. Just stay in the lobby. Don't close out that tab, and we'll do it again. Let's get through like two or three products and then we'll uh we'll do that again. That was fun. I feel like I need to kick Meat Face though, you know? You were Lark? Okay. I feel like I feel like Meat Face definitely needs to get kicked. No, it doesn't. I'm gonna beat him. Today we're gonna be taking a look at this East Oak Outdoor Smokeless Patio Fire Pit. Now I have tested fire pits in the past and honestly all of them have always just kind of felt cheap quality, but not with this East Oak. I'll have you know, Meat Face, I would have been up in like the 80 words per minute and still not beat you. I was using a tablet keyboard, which is very difficult to type on. I do like that it's not mechanical, but I'm way faster on that keyboard. This was tough. That was really tough. It was messing me up. I, I was... My hands were off center a lot. So like if I was going for like W, I was hitting Q. If I was going for R, I was hitting E and you know, so on and so on. Pick this up. You will get a fire hook right here. That's going to double in two ways, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit. You're going to have a removable tray lid right here in order to safely store all of your firewood in it. Now just know if you guys go out and buy like regular chopped firewood, some of them might be too long. For this or too wide so just make sure that if you can get smaller firewood definitely do that so what we're going to do is i'm going to go ahead and place this back up on top this is an all metal construction and this is going to use a two hey is is tyler streaming right now nate wears the hat to hide a giant pimple you know what i take offense to that where <laughs> where <laughs> Oh, where? Where is it? It's not there because I don't have one. I used to, but not anymore. Burning layer in order to give you more heat, a brighter glow, and also has a higher oxygen intake because of the way that this is set up. So if we go ahead and look over on the inside, you guys can see that right down in there, that is your burn plate. So whenever you're done burning, you can actually take this off. You can use the hook pull that out and then you're good to go. Now the way that this is designed with the airflow, you are going to get minimal smoke. So it's gonna be really nice to stay warm and at the same time not have smoke blowing around. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this fire lit outside. We're not gonna do a no. big one and it's I'll gotta, be back to show a, you guys what you it looks like. It's got a built in. All right guys, so we are. This has an anti built in document burner. So no, you can't. You guys that want to entertain friends in the winter you guys like to stay warm you guys like to stay outdoors you guys can do s'mores there's so many things that you can do and the craziest thing is i'm only actually burning one piece of wood i did use some lighter fluid but the this east oak patio heater is just incredible so definitely check it out i'm nate with dragon blogger see you guys later so there you guys have it uh it really does it really is smokeless and it does it by like look, see i shouldn't have messed with my hat now it looks funny you guys are just mad at my nike hat because it looks so cool i wish nike would sponsor us that's a far shot um, but yeah, East Oak makes really nice stuff. Definitely check that out. We're going to do one more. We're going to do another typing test. We're going to look at the EcoFlow 220 watt solar panel. A great way to charge your EcoFlow power stations. You guys, if you want to, if you want to, um, do the typing test with us right there. I just shared the link. Go get signed up. We have, we, how many players are in here? How many players do we have in here? We have nine out of 15 players. I think Savvy's gone. I'm going to kick Savvy. Savvy, if you're not gone, then just rejoin. Then just rejoin. So we have eight players. All right, let's go ahead and uh, switch over here and take a look at this solar. Nope, that's not right. It's biscuits, it's gravy, babe.
I know I'll be in your arms. Check this out, guys. Great way to keep your solar panels charged up. Yo, what's up, guys? Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, because as always, you guys will be entertained. Probably not. We'll find out. This is the EcoFlow 220 watt bifacial solar panel. This is going to be a beast whenever it comes to charging your EcoFlow battery backup, such as the Delta 2, the River Pro, the Delta Max. Really, the majority of your EcoFlow products are going to be able to be charged by this solar panel. You guys can see that this is a very big solar panel that is roughly about six feet wide and about three feet tall. Now, this is very easy to get set up. It's going to come with this little carrying case right here where everything will just fold into it. Now, you do need extra cables in order to hook these up with your Delta products or your River products. And then once you have all of that set up, all you have to do is just plug them in and you're good to go. So this is rated up to 220 watts. Now, obviously there's gonna be variables such as the weather, if there's clouds overhead, if it's overcast, the time of the year. At the Take you out of the lobby, it's dinner time, I got you. Time of shooting this video, it is fall. So the sun isn't as powerful as it normally is in the summer, but still I'm gonna go ahead and show you because we have this hooked up to my Delta II, which is behind here. I'll show you how many watts this is inputting at right now. So here's just a little bit of a view from the back. You guys can see that back here, it does look like there's a lot going on, but there's really not. I'll kind of explain it to you guys how I have everything set up. So the solar panel is set up with the carrying case right here. The cables that are attached to the solar panel run off of it into a connector that plugs into the back of my Delta II here. So my Delta II has a 1,024 watt hour capacity, which is already crazy. So the fact EcoFlow already makes something that can keep you safe in the event of emergencies, if you guys go camping often, if you live in an RV, or just really anything, rolling blackout storms, there's so many situations where you need something like this, but you might also run out of power on this and have no way to recharge it, but the sun's not going anywhere, even if your electricity does. So like I said, 1,024 watts on this. Let me go ahead and show you how much this is charging at right now. You guys can see that we currently have an input of 107. Yeah, right there, meat face. So first of all, the like the circle that's around the battery percentage, you know, it has a little animation. And then in the top right corner, it's in, you can see the input to the uh, power station. The watts. So at 1,024 watt hours, this is. So you guys have, if you have EcoFlow solar stations, then you definitely need to get one of those to, uh, keep everything up and running. But to everyone that's still in the lobby right now for the typing competition, uh, here you guys go in Twitch, and then here you guys go on Amazon. If you wanna get in the competition, there's the link right there um, to do this typing test. So let's switch over and we'll, we'll do another typing test. We're getting better together. We're getting better together. See if we get any new entries. So we got, wait, Awesome Mom was the one that said she needed to get kicked. Kick. We got Wiley, Bernardo, Meatface, Terrible at typing. Evans, get ready. Savvy, get ready. And Faustino, get ready. <clears throat> We're going to start it. Here we go. Starting the game now. We got five seconds. I don't know where I'm at. Oh, what? It never typed for me. It wasn't typing for me. Oh, no. No, guys, it was not typing. He's already in Amazon chat. Oh. This keyboard is tough. It wasn't even typing from, no.
Man, dude. It might be. It might be. <laughs> Rising Sun says I quit. Well, somebody else is still finishing up here. We got Meat Fit. No. All right. So it looks like it's all done. We got Meat Face at 112. Second place got. Where is second? Did they back out? Oh, no. Faustino. Second. Okay. Uh, who else do we have? Where's third? Oh, I'm third. Fourth place, Bernardo. Wiley, fifth. Mama Siren came in a close sixth place to fifth. And then two people that didn't finish. Jeez, Louise. We got destroyed it, i was typing all the way up until mountain top and it wasn't typing anything it was buggy oh well it is what it is it is what it is i guess it'd be that way we're never gonna beat meat face anyways we need to find other amazon streamers who's live right now who's live right now do we have blake live we need to get him to show his screen and then go here and see if he's about it is shopping dragon still live what about Somebody go share somebody go share that link. Share the link right here to Shopping Dragons and tell them to go get entered. Blake? Blake's not too serious on his stream. He's playful and stuff, right? Alright, let's look at the Who's Koala? Who just joined? Who's Koala? What is this? The EcoFlow River. River Max and River? Yeah, the River Max and River. Wait, River 2 Max and River. Ouch. Golly. Golly. That hurts. Ah, gosh. Something's wrong with my wrist. I don't know who Koala is. Somebody ask in that chat who Koala is. Uh, so we have two uh, different two different power stations here that we're going to talk about, just back to back. So we'll talk about the uh, River 2 Max first. Oh, call home has left the lobby. Oh, no. No, you don't know. I don't know. I honestly, I think I sprained it because it is... Oh, Seabass. Okay, what's up, Seabass? It is... It, it's really bad right here. I'm serious right here, man. It is. It hurts so dang bad. Gosh. And like lifting stuff hurts. Ouch. 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 Okay, guys. This is the EcoFlow River 2 portable power station. This thing is a beast. 512 watt hours. It's got LFP battery technology. Um, so this is going to last you thousands and thousands of recharges. Thousands of recharges. You got three USB ports on the front. And then you have a USB-C. You, you have your standard 12-volt adapter right there. You have four AC outlets. Whenever you turn this on, it'll show you the total battery life on this. So right now we're at 18% battery. Whenever you plug something in, it will tell you how much you're able to, or how long you're gonna be able to run right there. Uh, there's multiple ways to reach, ah, ah. Multiple ways to recharge this right here. So you have your extreme technology. So this can recharge from zero to 80% in one hour. This port is to recharge this from your car. Now the cable to charge this from your car while you're driving down the road is included with it. And then you can use this also to recharge it from the solar panels which we just looked at. So 512 watt hours with X boost technology that you can enable through the app on your phone. You're going to be able to power up to power devices up to 1000 watts with X boost. Now, obviously you're not going to get a long battery life on that, but if you do need uh, to run something with a little bit of an extra um, power consumption, you can do that with the EcoFlow um, River 2 Max. Now, this is something I recommend for people that travel 
people that might live in, you know, st areas that have storms, if you have blackouts, if you have, you know, just bad power at your house. You never know you're, when you're going to need something like this. Um, and honestly, I never thought I would need something like this when they sent it to me. But there's been two or three situations in the past year since I've been testing out EcoFlow products where I ended up using these. Um, one of them was just about a month ago. The power went out and I used one of these to run a space heater. So um, you definitely get your money's worth in this. It's four hundred and sixty nine dollars, four hundred and sixty nine bucks. But but there's no clickable coupon. I, I thought there was gonna be a coupon. There's not. You'd like to run a space heater or two with one. Now, space heaters do have a ton of. Um, space heaters do run a ton of uh, wattages, so you can run one on this. Just make sure it's a thousand watts or under. Just make sure it's a thousand watts or under. So there you guys have it. Just like that. That is the river two. Now, if you guys want to save a little bit of money. And you still want a awesome EcoFlow solar uh, or power station? Then right here, this is the EcoFlow River Two, not the River Two Max. So this has exactly half the battery capacity, at um, 256. At 256. No wait, hold on. I'm wrong. Sorry. Let me see real quick. Yeah, 256 watt hours. It does have the LFP battery built into it, so you're still gonna have thousands of recharges. Um, you're going to have two regular USB ports right here. You're going to have a USB-C. You're going to have your 12 volt adapter and then two AC outlets. And again, on the back side of this, you're going to have extreme technology. So if this thing is completely dead, you can recharge it from zero to 80% within one hour. So it's really fast. And then you can charge it from your car or EcoFlow solar panels right down there at the bottom, just like that. Uh, it's even got a nice little carrying handle, which also keeps it safe uh, whenever you put this up against a wall and charging because that vent needs somewhere for that hot air to go. If this handle wasn't here, it'd be sitting right up against the wall and blocking uh, the exhaust fan from pulling out all of or pushing out all of that hot air. Um, so the EcoFlow Solar or the EcoFlow um, River 2, this has 256 watt hours. It can output it up to 600 watts. That's a lot. Um, this is going to keep you going. It's $2.99, but it has a $60 coupon on it right now. So you guys can actually pick this up for $239.99 today. That's probably the lowest price I've seen this. So if you guys have been waiting for a good price on one of these, um, definitely pick this up today. But sometimes power goes out and it's not cold, then it's like dead quiet. It would be good to run stuff. Yeah, it would. It would. Uh, so moving on, we have this smart door lock by Gian Fino. So this door lock is going to give you guys a ton of options to just, first of all, secure your home. And then also, um, it's it's cool. You can unlock it with a fingerprint sensor or fingerprint scanner. You can unlock it with a key card, a physical key, pins. You can set up individual pins so you can unlock it in multiple ways. Uh, I mean, this thing is really cool. It's $149 right now. Let me see if there's any coupons. There's a $60 off clickable coupon. So you guys can actually pick this up for um, $89.99 today. It's IP65 waterproof. So you can have this as an outdoor lock with no issues. I'm telling you guys, if you want, if you've been wanting to update, you know, your lock on your door for a while, this is the best one for it. Hey, what is going on? Touch right here and the keypad will pop up. So I'll go ahead and type in my temporary code that I created for the video. And as you guys can see, the door is unlocked. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lock it again. So now that the front door is locked again, you guys can see that right here you have this little thing kind of indicating that you can come up and tap it. And you can get more of these, but it does come with two. And all you have to do is come up to the front door, hold that there, and the door is locked again. Now, honestly, one of the coolest things about this is the fingerprint sensor, which you guys can see is right up here on top. So now all you have to do in order to get that set up is use the app. You can come up with your set fingerprint. And now the door is unlocked once again. There's tons of different settings inside of the app. You guys can set up individual keys. 
You guys can set up keys that are gonna work for a day. You guys can set up permanent keys. You can also even see who unlocked it per what key you've given them. You guys can set up multiple fingerprints that can last forever or for a certain amount of time. You guys can also add more of those little key cards that I showed you before. So honestly, this has a ton of features. It was very easy to get set up. It just took me a little bit longer because I didn't read the instructions all the way through. But other than that, the G5 Smart Lock by Gianfino is absolutely awesome. If you guys have been looking for a new and you know technologically savvy way to lock your home, definitely check out this one from Gianfino and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, and there you guys have it. Um, great way to keep your door locked. We're going to move on to the Govi Smart Tower Fan next. So this is a tower fan from Govi. Uh, Meatface has this. I'm, I'm pretty sure he likes it. Um, it's $89.99. Govi usually has clickable coupons. It does. It has a $5 off coupon today. It's controllable through an app as well. And I'm pretty sure it's even got a thermometer built into it. So whenever you load up the app, you can see what the temperature is in the room. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this awesome smart tower fan by Govi. Now you guys have heard me say it before if you've seen any of my videos or been to any of my live streams that I am a big fan of Govi. Now while Govi primarily makes certain lights for your house such as string lights or those little panel lights, they also make a smart fan. Now there's a ton of features with this fan so let me just go ahead and go over everything that you can do with this fan. So first off, unboxing this was very simple. There was really nothing to it. All you have to do to get this thing set up is put on the base here, which is very easy. The two pieces of the base, they just snap together. You put... Okay, Google, set the smart tower fan to a four hour timer. So there's really a ton you can do. Now I haven't figured out exactly all of the different voice commands, but just the fact that I'm able to turn this off and on such as this, okay Google, turn off the smart tower fan. And you guys can see, you guys can see just like that, that it turned off. Okay Google, turn on the smart tower fan. And then it just turned back on. Now the reason I think that that is the most awesome feature about this is because this does not have your remote. And if you guys have this, say, next to your bed, but you have it five or six feet away in the middle of the night, you get hot, you don't want to have to get up and turn that fan on or off manually if that's what you're wanting to do. So the fact that you're able to just speak to Alexa or Google and just have this turn on and off automatically with your voice is really awesome. Govi makes phenomenal products, and this is... All right, so if you guys just need a really nice new tower fan with app control made by Govi, check that out. Uh, the next product is also Govi. Uh, this is a lightning deal, guys. I know you guys have seen the uh, the floodlights before. This is a four-pack for $60, easily the cheapest I've seen these. This is going to be really good for that. You're also even going to be able to add in just a nice smooth transition effect, and this one is called Aurora, and it just looks really nice in my opinion. And now this specific mode right here, this is called Thunderstorm, and it's doing its best to kind of mimic the effects of lightning during a thunderstorm. I think this one looks really nice as well. And then by far, one of my favorite modes is called Sunset. So this is going to be a really good mode if you guys are winding down at the end of the day and you guys just want to create a calming ambience. This is definitely going to be one for that. Let's go ahead and move these outside and test them out there. All right, my friends, so we have these installed outside and just taking an initial look at these, I think they look incredible and add a really nice effect to the outside of your home. They kind of act as I'm home lights, just so everybody knows that you are here. Now, if people are driving by, this is kind of a street view as to what it'll look like for people that are on street level. And here is that red that I was talking about earlier. If you take a look, just super creepy, going to be great for Halloween. So taking a look at one of the modes, Aurora, that we looked at earlier, this just looks awesome out here. This is going to scream, hey, I'm an RGB gamer. Continuing on, this nice little mode right here is actually just going to kind of cycle through all of the different colors. And then the next mode that we're going to take a look at is kind of a festive mode. So this is called Christmas. I think this is going to be an awesome way to display your Christmas spirit whenever the time comes around. 
And overall, Govi just did a fantastic job designing these lights. As always, Govi just outdid themselves with all of their lights. So if you guys have been looking for a new way to spruce up your outside home, definitely check these out. All right, my friends. So uh, lightning deal, like I said, you can get a four pack. I was I had the two pack, but it's the same thing for the same price. So if you guys want to get the four pack of these floodlights from Govi, uh, 60 bucks. That's a great deal today. I have not seen it that cheap. I don't know if it's going to last this long. They're already 57% claimed. Um, I'm sure within the next few hours, that sale will be gone and they'll go back up to 100 bucks. Uh, but moving on, we're going to look at one of the first videos I did after not doing product reviews for a long time. So this is a little bit of an older video, but this is the HS710 drone by um, Holy Stone. They were that price before Christmas. So the the sale might come around again but if you guys you know don't want to wait for it there you go hey what's going on guys my name is nathaniel with dragon blogger tech and entertainment and today i am excited to showcase to you the hs710 drone from holy stone this thing has a lot of awesome features let's go ahead and jump in and get right into it so the hs710 is a foldable compact drone as you can see here it is very easy to set up out of the box all you have to do is just unfold these arms and you're ready to move on now the camera on the HS710 is right here on the bottom and it has a 4K sensor on it so you can definitely capture great footage. Now the HS710 is a quad capter so that means it has four motors and each motor has two blades on it. Don't worry about destroying these, they send you extras. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the hand controller. Up here on top you're going to have your foldable antennas. On the bottom you're going to have some grips that also fold out so you can hold it nicer. On the top here, you have your joysticks that will allow you to control it going up and down, left and right. And on the front is also where you're going to have other controls such as launching and landing and return to home feature. On the top of the hand controller, you're going to have this little indention right here. So what you want to do is just pull that out. And when you pull that out, you might see that it needs to come out just a little bit more. And it'll have this little fold down clip. This is where you're going to insert your phone. And the HS710 comes with two batteries when fully charged will give you 25 minutes of flight time each. Inserting the battery is very easy. Simply just slide it into the back, make sure it clicks, and you're good to go. So what you want to do now for the setup is you want to download Ophelia Go, which is the app that is going to allow you to control and live view the drone footage in real time. So once you go ahead and get that installed, it'll walk you through all of the steps and the processes on how to get that set up. It's super simple. Just follow the prompts, and it'll tell you everything that you need to do to get down. So I understand why they didn't put it in here. Now, the 4K camera on this drone does a pretty good job of picking up all of the details of the surrounding houses and the colors. It looks pretty good, and for a small drone, the camera stabilization is actually pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the live view in the app mode. Right now, I'm adjusting some settings. There's a lot there, so once you get yourself one of these, you'll familiarize yourself with that. And then what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and launch it. And so you guys can kind of see all of the control features and some of the interface features that this app has. So on the bottom left, you actually are going to have a map that you can pull up and you can kind of see where you're at. On the left middle, you see the little H's. That will allow you to hit that and return to home. There's also a feature on the controller. There's also follow me mode. There's a directional mode. There's playback. There's a whole bunch of features that I think you guys will really enjoy about this drone. I've honestly been having a blast with this drone, and I think you guys will too. Well, guys, this was Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger checking out the HS710 drone from Holy Stone. If you guys want to check this thing out, I highly recommend it. It has a ton of cool features. It has control with just a remote or control with your phone. You can record to an SD card. You can also record directly to your phone's memory. If you guys want to check this thing out, I highly recommend it, and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, and there we have it. That is the... Uh Holy Stone HS710. Uh, moving on, we have the Hummix Carphone Mount Holder. And here you guys go. So, this is the mount. What this is going to allow you to do is you basically just pull this down. And that'll extend roughly about an inch. So if you have a taller phone, you can definitely put it in there and you won't have to worry about it being too lopsided over the top. And then one of the coolest things about this is to put your phone in here, all you simply have to do 
is on the side, if you guys can see it here, all you have to do is just basically push that in and this will automatically extend out. So then what you can do, oh, excuse me, <laughs> that was rough. What you can do is basically put your phone in here like this or just drop it on your desk. That also works too. So basically you're just gonna put it in here like this, clamp it down. You don't wanna like squeeze it too tight because you obviously don't wanna break the plastic. But as you can see here, that's not going to go anywhere. I mean, this is super solid. I am shaking it and it's not moving. It definitely clamps down really tight. So then say you get home and all you have, and then you want to basically just take your phone off of the mount. All you have to do is just push in those little side buttons that I showed you guys just a few seconds ago. And it'll... So I feel like for 25 bucks, that's a really good deal. Now, if you want one that's more magnetic than it is more of a holder, uh, we have another one from uh, Humix. And I almost feel like this one is stronger because uh, in this video, I will sh basically shake this. Uh, I'll shake my phone with the magnet on it and you'll see how strong it is. Hey, what's going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Vlogger Tech and to uh, set up, but I'll show you guys how to do this. your phone falling, but that's not going to be an issue with this guy. And there are two ways you can do this. You can basically install this magnet on the outside of your phone with the sticky side touching the back of your phone or on the inside. But I would recommend personally just installing on the back. It might seem a little bit off and it might look a little bit weird, but this is going to prevent this magnet from losing any of its strength doing to have to go through the plastic on your phone. So there are basically two ways you can do this. So you can install this magnet on the back of your phone like this, or you can install it on the inside like this. But personally, I would recommend you install it on the back of your phone just so the magnet doesn't lose any strength with having to go through that plastic. I said before you ever even get this on. It doesn't have to be perfectly level, but just try to make it as clean as you can just so it doesn't look silly while it's sitting on your phone. And then once you have that on, all you have to do is basically just smooth that out, push it down, and you guys can see I'm kind of working out some of those air bubbles. We'll go ahead and get all of them. And the only thing that's really left to do is simply install this on the surface in your car or really anywhere that you're going to want to use this. Now, I don't have a car. I just sold it. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I mean, I literally just sold my car. Uh, so we're not going to be able to test it inside of my car, uh, but I am still going to be able to show you how strong this thing is. Magnet right here, the main unit of this Humix car. Uh, so you guys can see that right there. I mean, it is super strong right here. Hold it there. And as you guys can see, I am shaking this as hard as I can. Look at that. I'm telling you guys, you guys aren't going to make it fall off. Um, so yeah, definitely check that out. It's only 16 bucks. Now we have an eight inch chainsaw from MOM Live. Yo, what's up my friends? Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at another mini chainsaw by Imoum Live. So this is going to be a great chainsaw, not necessarily for cutting down trees, but this is gonna be great for garden work, for low hanging branches. And now while I said you aren't going to be able to use this, a little bit of wind there. So we'll go ahead and add some music over this after I actually get to cutting. But you guys can see that this is gonna be a great chainsaw to cut down low hanging branches maybe smaller trees shrubs so let's go ahead and test it out and as always safety first as always safety first All right, so as you guys can see right here, the MOM Live works really well. Cleaned up all of those low hanging branches. So if you guys need something that's gonna be great for you to actually get down stuff like I just did, definitely check this out. Make sure you use chain oil.
All right, and there you guys have it. So if you need a nice chainsaw just for, you know, around the yard, just work, uh, cutting down bushes, uh, low-hanging branches, all that good stuff, definitely check that one out. Um, but I appreciate you guys all being here. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and say that we only need, um, I believe, seven more followers to do another Amazon gift card giveaway. Um, but let's move on and take a look at this milk frother. Uh, so this is an automatic milk froth. Two to go. I'm way off then. Two more followers needed to do an Amazon gift card giveaway again. We already gave away one. Uh, but this automatic milk frother is for those of you guys that really like to make, like, you know, cappuccinos, frappuccinos, bappuccino, all that good stuff. Uh, and this one works really well and has a splash guard so it doesn't go everywhere like I've done in the past. Yo, what's going on to all of my espresso drinkers out there? If you guys are tired of having to froth your milk manually and you want to froth your milk for your frappuccino, cappuccino, mappuccino, bappuccino, whatever it is, you need to check out this Gretes automatic milk frother. So this is everything that comes in the box as well as this little lid right here. So the way this works is you have to plug in the base, which is down here. Now the base is really nice because it has these little anti-movement rubber pads on it. It's very lightweight. Now you don't have to twist on the actual container itself. Speaking of the container itself, there is only one button on here, which is really cool, which is going to be, take a look. It actually almost did go on the, in another video that I did, uh, milk went everywhere so let's go ahead and test this out this is the first time i've ever tried this so let's just go ahead and turn it on so you guys can see that right there with that little whisk attachment that needs to go on the middle it's actually spinning the milk around and heating it up in order to froth that milk now obviously keep this lid on whenever you are doing this to avoid that milk spilling over but if you just take a look that's really cool we'll be back when this is done all right so this just got done one of the things i wanted to tell you guys is this runs for two minutes every single time but now let's go ahead and see how good it did so definitely be really careful whenever you're taking the lid off the best way i found to do it is just hold the base firmly and then you're going to take the lid here and just kind of turn it until it starts to slide off and then you should be good now, if you just take a look right there, that did a phenomenal job frothing the milk. So let's go ahead and pour this in. If we take a look, it actually almost did too good of a job, but right there you can see all of the foam on the milk. And just look at that. Now, what you could probably do is you could probably mix this around in order to kind of get the froth and the milk. We'll use this knife real quick. And there we go, kind of get the froth and the milk kind of mixed up a little bit but look at that that did a phenomenal job so as you guys can see right there very simple way to froth your milk now kind of staying with kitchen products we have this in drawer bamboo knife block um this thing is nice so if you guys just need a good way to organize knives inside of your drawer that's what this is going to be for and it's real bamboo too Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment and today we're going to be taking a look at this bamboo in drawer knife block by Homemade Living. Right out of the gate this feels very heavy and very well made so let's go ahead and get this unboxed and you guys can see right here I did unbox it off camera but the only thing that is in it is the bamboo in this plastic. Getting the plastic off was for some reason a little bit of a challenge for me but we went ahead and got that done off camera. And my initial impressions on this thing is just how heavy it is. Now you guys have heard me in the past say multiple times, whenever something feels heavy compared to something else in its category, it usually means it's built better than the one that's not heavy. And you guys can see right here, this thing looks absolutely awesome. Personally, I have always been a big fan of the bamboo look. And they also have this nice kind of almost gloss or sheen to it that they added on top. It's probably a protectant, but this thing just looks so good. You guys can see that bamboo texture right there just looks really awesome. I think this would kind of blend in with anybody's kitchen setup or just theme that they have going on in their house. So you guys can see right here we have multiple layers in order to store knives. So bigger knives are going to go on the bottom. We'll start out with this 8-inch chef knife. We're not going to be able to fill this thing all the way up just because I don't have that many knives. 
but you guys can see right here it just slides in super easy and it's not going to move at all so no more sharp edges whenever you guys are grabbing your knives and then we'll go ahead and put it back in just to show you guys how easy this is and just like that that whole knife is in there and sitting in there very nice and snug we'll go ahead and do an eight inch bread knife and you guys can see here if you guys have knives with the same handle size that they're going to line up really uh but yeah right there as you guys can see very easy very simple way for you to uh just store your knives i don't know how many knives you guys have maybe a lot i don't have that many like three or four that would like i would actually want to put in there um so definitely check that one out uh now we're gonna go ahead it is it is very nice randy i yeah i agree i was gonna say i appreciate it like i made it like i carved it <laughs> no i didn't uh, we're going to look at the next kitchen product, which is this Michelangelo stainless steel espresso maker. I don't drink espresso, but I can just tell like right off rip that this thing is nice and well made. I don't drink coffee. Hey, wait, 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 wait. There we go. I got the right video now. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment back again today with another video taking a look at this Michelangelo espresso machine. This thing is jam packed full of features. So let's go ahead and just jump in and take a look at everything that this thing has to offer. So this thing is very easy to get set up and going. You guys can see on the right side of the machine, you're going to have hot water, coffee and steam. And what that steam is for is this little nozzle right here that's going to allow you to add froth milk to your espresso. It's really awesome that you're able to just do that. You guys can see that on the back side here that the water reservoir tank is huge. So you're definitely going to get a lot of cups out of one fill right there. You're going to have two different cup sizes. We're going to go ahead and go with cup one to get this started. And you're going to take this little handle right here and just choose which cup you want. So I have the one cup size. You're going to choose your favorite espresso grounds. And then you're just going to pour them in like that. And then the next thing you want to do is basically just apply even pressure to the coffee grounds that you just added in order to get this thing to pull through. And honestly, I don't know what mess you guys are talking about. See, there's no mess. And then after that, you guys will see right here, you have a nice even cup. And then the next thing you want to do is basically just push this on. Now, it might seem like I'm struggling. It is not that difficult to do this. I just did it wrong. So just follow the instructions. You should be good. Next thing you want to do is just simply select what size cup you want. We're going to go with one cup. And you guys will see here after a few seconds that it will start to pull. And honestly, I don't know why, but something about this right here is just so satisfying to watch. I think it's just how clean and how simple it pulls through. And then I went ahead and sped this portion up. This is me frothing the milk. It does take a little bit longer. That's why I sped the video up, just so you guys aren't sitting here watching the whole 45 seconds it took to complete this. And then you are simply able to just add that frothed milk into your coffee. So there's a little drop. And you guys can see right here that that is just so satisfying to do. Now I tried to do the designs, but I am definitely no expert. But even without that, you guys can see just how satisfying this is. So if you guys have been looking for a new espresso machine, I think this might be the one for you. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, and as you guys can see right there, great espresso maker. Uh, we tried to make it live on stream one time, and then I took a drink of it. And first of all, it tasted terrible, and then I was like out of my mind for the next two hours. Uh, but moving on, we're going to look at this Serene Evolution Portable White Noise Machine. It's biscuits, it's gravy, babe. Hey, what is going on?
All right, guys, so you guys can see right there that the Serene Evolutions Portable White Noise Machine has a ton of built-in presets. It has absolutely amazing sound quality, so if you guys have been looking for a new white noise machine, I highly recommend this one from Serene Evolutions. See you on the next um, So there you guys have it. Just a really nice way to add some ambience, like David said. Uh, so definitely pick that up if you guys are looking to do that. Uh, now moving on, we have uh, some workout equipment, and the first one we're going to take a look at is Bayou Suda, and this is a compact elliptical machine. Hey guys, my name is three little ones and two, two long ones that shoot across really easy. And then it has a little covers that you can put on top of that whenever you're done with that. And it has two arm handles. Like I said, it's all labeled left side and the right side. It takes uh, two bolts right there and they just shoot through. And like I said, it has nuts on the back on that side. And the same thing goes for the other side also. And then with this part right here, it was really easy. There's a wire that shoot down. You'll make that. You'll want to make that shoot down, and then you put that uh, bolt in the back side, and you'll tighten that up, and it'll shoot down, connect to the bottom part. Like I said, really easy to move. As you can see, it's not that heavy at all. And again, there's the the tools right here that you use that it comes with. Really unique tools right here. You can use it for anything. So you can keep these tools out there too, to use for other stuff. Again, this is me right here. Gonna jump on this and show you guys how efficient this is and how how it works. So pretty much you're gonna just ride this like like you just like you're running, and it's like you're climbing a mountain, and you can actually feel the burn with this one. You can switch handles if you want to to do a free hand like that, and on the, the spray screen you can have the notches right there where I just turned up, which is gonna calculate the uh, the more I have to push and you know go faster or if I want to have it down. Like I said, really easy uh, equipment to function, and I do highly recommend this to you guys. And again, this is made by Yusuda, and thank you guys for watching this video. All right, my friends. So what we're going to go ahead and do is move on with the Yosuda water rowing machine. So another workout product from Yosuda, and they just keep making the best products, it's period. That, that's what they keep doing. What's up, everyone? My name is Demetrius. And don't forget, we only need two more followers right now. We only need two more followers to do another gift card giveaway. Um, uh, to do another gift card giveaway from uh, for $5. So if two of you guys aren't following, make sure you guys hit that follow button. And today we're going to be... And as you can see right here, it's really easy to set up in my, my time-lapse video that I have for you guys. So it had the... Uh... The first part you want to do is there's bolts right here on it. There's two bolts right there. You, you will uh, install on that one right there. And then uh, this would be, I, I, was, I would say this would be number two because this wasn't bagged up. Because these are long bolts that shoot through the, uh, the foot pedals right here that you would slide in and then you'll tighten that up with an Allen key right here, which that was really simple to do. So you have, there was one, this was the first step right there to put that on. And then you had two on this side right here on this part you can flip this up this big part right here the main part you flip that up and you add two on this side and two on the other side and then the next step it wanted me to do would uh it'd be adding this on there so this right here will just slide on there and then you add the bumpers right here the bumpers and it has like two bolts right here on each side it takes an allen key and then to attach this railing right here this whole railing uh it will be two bolts on this side, two bolts on that side, as you can see. Really easy setup on that part. And on this part right here, you have the mount. So the mount is for the display and for your tablet that you can hold up there. And these right here, they come out like that. So you, as you can see right here, they come out on both sides, which a uh, tablet up to like 10 inches, I believe, that would fit that. You can put that 10 inch one like standing like straight up on that part. So with this right here, uh, you have to take this bolt out, which this is already uh, bolted in this part. So you take those two out, and then you have to mount this piece right here. There was four bolts right here that was on this. You just unscrew this from this, and then you add them back on there, like just like that. Uh, in my opinion, I do love it, and I do highly recommend it for you guys. And row machine is made by Yosada. Again, two zero seven dash zero one. Again, I do highly recommend this to you guys, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.
All right, my friend. So moving on from workout equipment, we have this um, wooden desk and nightstand accessory holder. So this is a really good entryway uh, place to like put your keys, your phone. You can put on your nightstand to display your phone at night. Um, and this is this. I mean, this one's really nice. Hey, what's going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment and today I am super excited to showcase something to you that I believe might help you stop losing your keys, your wallet, and just anything else that you tend to lose all the time. If you're anything like me, personally I'm always looking for my wallet. I could set it down and five minutes later I have lost it forever it seems. So today we're going to be taking a look absolutely incredible and honestly even though this isn't real solid wood it's i think it's press wood or particle board just because you can see the cutout right here this still feels very solid and now taking a look at the bottom part right here or really the top part that awesome wood grain texture is still here you're going to have these two little knobs right here so this is going to be really good for hanging your keys from you're also going to have a little phone holder right here with a hole cut into it and what that hole is for is charging your phone so to get this set up and working i guess you could say all you really have to do is simply just slide it in to this base right here and then you are good to go and you guys can see that this just looks absolutely incredible it's also super durable and it's not going to move around so now that you guys have this set up you guys can see that when you come in at the end of a long day or maybe you even have this on your nightstand you can just set it right here like this so I have my phone set up you're gonna be able to hang your keys you're gonna be able to throw your wallet in here just like so so you kind of have this all-in-one station for all of the stuff that you normally take with you throughout the day whenever you leave home. So if you guys have been looking for a new way to organize, I highly recommend this one from Namor. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, my friends. So there you guys have it. Um, just a really nice, uh, easy way to store your stuff whenever you walk in the house or at night. Uh, you need this from my husband. Desiree, I'm telling you, it's really nice. I, I promise you. He'll like it he really well. I have another thing he's really going to like. This is the Mountain Voyage Minimalist Wallet. Uh, so let's go ahead and load this up for you guys. Hey, what is going on, guys? I'm Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today I'm excited to showcase to you something I haven't reviewed before. So you guys can see right here, I recently received this Mountain Voyage Co. box. Now you guys might be asking, what's in this box? Well, it's actually going to be a money clip. So we're gonna switch to my overhead camera and I'm just gonna show this to you guys real quick right here. So you guys can see that this is just a very simply designed money clip. This is real wood right here. You guys can see that they have that very nice logo and all metal clip portion on the actual clip itself. And this even opens up right here so you can store some cards on the inside. This is all metal on the inside, so that's gonna be a good way to protect those cards and keep them nice and safe. And the elastic banding on these are super strong. So you're not only going to get this portion right here, you're also going to get this little welcome card. You're also going to get some replacement screws in case you ever need those to be replaced. And you're going to get your little mini screwdriver. So just to kind of showcase this to you guys, I do have a little bit of money right here. Nothing crazy, just something light. So we'll go ahead and we'll just put all of this money. You know, honestly, it's not that much. I mean, you know, but we'll go ahead and put this in here. So you guys can see, even with just that little amount of money, I don't know, probably 20 different bills or something. And it's not even, you know, it's just 20s and stuff like that. You guys can see that this does a phenomenal job actually holding this money in right here. But not only are you able to do that, you are able to hold your cards. Now, I don't want to show you guys my card number. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a stack of different cards, as you guys can see right here. And then we are going to grab them and just put them inside of the clip just to see how well that works. So you guys can see that right there, very simply, we have probably a, we have five cards on the inside right there, as well as the money. So if you guys have been looking for a new way to store your money and your cards, this is definitely a really awesome way. I really like the wood grain texture on it and the branding. So I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.
All right, and so there you guys go. Great gift right there. You know, honestly, I don't, I don't carry cash enough. Like, I almost never carry cash, so I never really need a money clip. But that one is really nice. I mean, super nice. Uh, now, for all of you hard sleepers out there, or the people that just find it hard to actually get out of bed, not necessarily wake up to your alarm, uh, this clocky alarm clock, you guys have seen this before. This thing's awesome. Uh, this forces you to get out of bed. And I think you guys will see why. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this really awesome and interesting alarm clock. So this is an alarm clock by a company called Clocky. And what this actually does is it will jump off of your nightstand while sounding the alarm and basically drive away from you or go around in circles, making it hard to catch. So what this is designed for are people that are very hard sleepers or people that find it hard to get up in the morning, which is exactly why we got this because uh, I have trouble getting up in the morning. But you guys can see right here, it's a very simple design, a very rugged design too. You have some controls up there on top, which will, grow, which will go through here in a couple of seconds. On the bottom, you are going to need four AAA batteries right there, and it is screwed in, so just be aware of that. You have your little digital display right here. And then these controls right here, whenever you have an alarm set, what these are basically going to do is these are the options for if you want it to make noise or just drive around. So you'll see that right here you have this little button. When you click that, that means whenever this does go off, this is gonna drive off. Then this button right here, what that's gonna do is sound the alarm. So we'll go ahead and set that. On the top right here, you're gonna have a snooze button that they kind of make hard to see and I think they did that for a reason, just so whenever you are trying to wake up in the morning and this goes off, it's not immediately apparent and it's a little bit harder to get to shut off. So you're gonna have some controls right here. So you're gonna have this H that's gonna control your hour time whenever you set that. You're gonna have that M that's gonna control the minutes. You're gonna have alarm and that is going to control what time you set the alarm for. And then the T is how you set the time. I have the time set to what time it actually would with your, uh, you know, your normal alarm clock. So we'll just act like we're sleeping. Like I said, this is gonna be really good for people that find it hard to wake up in the mornings because it's going to roll off. And now this thing is built to be able to survive that fall. So let's just act like we're sleeping, dreaming about whatever it is you guys dream about. And this is just so nice and peaceful. Hey, what's up, Cool Shopper? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? What is that? Help! can see a very 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 annoying sound and it drives around so that is definitely going to help you basically wake up in the morning if you guys have been looking for a new alarm clock if you guys are heavy sleepers or anything along those lines definitely check out this from clocky and i'll see you guys on the next video all right so there we guys uh there you guys go how's baby doing she's doing good uh she went to school with my wife today and I just heard her come back just a little bit ago. Um, but she's doing good. She's doing real good. Uh, so the next product is by Bodymate. And this is a hip brace. I kind of want... Um, I wish Bodymate made one for like my wrist right now. Because I'm, I'm serious. My wrist is like... It hurts. Uh, so this is a hip brace for sciatica pain relief. Now I can't sit here and tell you guys that it is going to relieve your sciatica pain. But um, it might. Hey, what's going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger. Not like, she didn't like, there's, like, kids aren't back to school, but teachers are starting to go back and get their classroom set up for Christmas break. She wasn't, like, there with kids and everything. She was just up there hanging out with her while she was uh, getting stuff done in the classroom and all that. You made band. So this is a band that is designed to sit around your hips and your leg at the same time. And now, while I can't say it does do this, they claim that it's supposed to help with um, it's supposed to help with blood circulation, so recovery times 
and they say it just alleviates pain overall. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what this looks like. Just a little bit up close. You guys can see that you have the Body Mate branding right there. The material is very, very soft and the Velcro on this is very strong. So this might look like a jumbled mess and that's because it kind of is right now, but I'll go ahead and show you guys how you get this going. It's very simple to use. All you have to do is, first of all, figure out exactly how you get that part off. So there you go. So this portion right here, what this is gonna do is this is gonna go around your upper hip. So now this is designed to be worn under clothing, so it's kind of like discreet. But for the video, I'll just put it over my clothing. And you want this to be relatively tight. So I'll go ahead and just get that tight so you guys can see that right there, it is wrapped around my hip now. And so this bottom portion is gonna go around your leg. So I'll go ahead and lower the camera just a little bit real quick. So I'll show you guys that right here, all you have to do for the leg is just reach under and you are going to wrap this around your leg, not necessarily as tight as you can, but you do want it to be pretty tight because of compression. And so I kind of have these backwards, so let me fix that real quick. There we go. Now we're gonna now, now we're clicking. So there you go. So like I said, make sure it's pretty tight. You want it roughly. About Nate looking good in glasses. Four. I need to start wearing them again. It's just I haven't worn them in so long that it's taken me a while to like get used to them. I'm gonna put them on right now. Watch my eyes go crazy. Inches or so away from the hip band. And then as you guys can see right there. That is it. So this is, like I said, it's supposed to be able to help with circulation and just support in general. So if you guys have been looking for a new way to you know, recover from workouts, recover from surgeries, whatever it is, I highly recommend this one from Bodymate. I'll see you on the next video. All right, and there we go. Let's see the glasses. Boom. Got the glasses on and my eyes are freaking right now. They're trying, they're like, going in and out of focus a butt lift <laughs> hey i didn't know that's how you can make a butt that's funny all right so we're gonna move on to uh crocs and these are the uh yukon vista crocs these aren't just your typical run-of-the-mill everyday crocs these are fancy crocs when i say fancy i mean i'm so fancy you already know i'm in the something la to tokyo hey what is going on guys nathaniel with dragon blogger tech and entertainment and today i am oh so excited to showcase to you guys potentially not potentially definitely the greatest invention ever these are crocs these are the real deal crocs because we know that there are crocs out there or clogs out there that try to act like crocs look like crocs but they're just not so these are the real deal Crocs. Now you guys can see that right here, these aren't the standard Crocs you're used to seeing with the holes on top. They do still have the holes or the breathing holes on the sides, but not on top there, but I think it looks really nice. Now this brown two-tone color pattern looks absolutely incredible. And on the back for the four by four mode, sport mode, race mode, you actually have these adjustment straps that allow you to tighten these down just in case you need a little bit extra horsepower whenever you're doing whatever it is that you do in Crocs. So honestly, I really do like the way these look. They're super comfortable. It seems like they have a little bit more support than your standard Crocs that you can normally get. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and move the camera here. You guys can see that my dog Spiky Ball is right in the way. Now we don't want that in this video, but we're gonna go ahead and leave it anyways. So here are my standard Crocs right here. Now, while I absolutely live and die by this pair of Crocs because they've lasted me through some of the honestly not very hard times in my life, you guys can see that the new Crocs are just, I mean, how do you even begin to explain how good these Crocs look? So now I did have a little bit of trouble getting them on just because they were already ready to go in sport mode. So I kind of had to put these on manually, but honestly, all jokes aside, these are very, very comfortable. You guys might get made fun of for wearing Crocs, but listen, it does not matter because these are some of the most comfortable and easy to use shoes that you will ever have. On the back, like I said, you have your sport mode, 4x4, whatever you want to call it, whatever you need it to be for you, you have it. So you can freely adjust this if you need a little bit more room or if things aren't that serious and you don't need sport mode, you can loosen it up just to be more relaxed in your Crocs while you're barbecuing and wearing your jorts. So if you guys are looking for a new pair of Crocs, I highly recommend these ones. They're super comfortable, super stylish, and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, have you worn Crocs? 
I mean, I'll admit they're not that good looking. I mean, nobody. I don't think everyone's ever looked at Crocs and been like, "Dang, those you know those Crocs look good." I don't, that's never happened. But they are insanely comfortable. I'm telling you, they're so comfortable. I have, th I have two pairs. Uh, I also really like Hey Dudes too. I also really like Hey Dudes. Uh oh, looks like I'm gonna have to change the way that these are hooked up. One of them just kind of fell. I started using like wall hooks that you kind of like twist into the wall. Ah, oh, you like twist into the wall like this, um, into the drywall, and then it just has a hook, and that's why I started using. Um, Toms. I used to wear Toms in high school. Toms were really comfortable too, but now thinking about it, um, I couldn't wear them. If you guys need something really nice to pair with these Crocs, uh, this Koofandy men's corduroy shirt is really nice. This would actually go perfect wearing these with Crocs. You'll probably get made fun of for wearing corduroy and then also wearing Crocs at the same time, especially fancy Crocs. But check this out. I'm so fancy. Yo, what's going on, my friends? Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment back with another awesome product from Koofandy. So this is an XL for men corduroy shirt and honestly i never really thought that i'd be wearing corduroy i feel like i'm kind of taking a time machine back to the 70s or something like that but honestly this isn't really what i expected i don't know what i really remembered about corduroy from the last time i saw somebody wearing it or saw it in a store but this is actually very very soft now one of the things that really jumped out and i definitely didn't remember about corduroy this one's actually stretchy i don't know if koof andy just did a phenomenal job creating this one to be stretchy but you guys can see that we have that nice dark brown color tone to it. You're going to have a pocket over here. The buttons are high quality. Honestly, this thing is very lightweight, but very comfortable at the same time. I think this is going to be really nice for a ton of different reasons. If you guys are doing throwback parties to the 70s, this is going to be a great piece for that. If you guys are just wanting to wear corduroy because you like it, I think this one's really nice. Now, just stepping back. This is a size XL. You guys can see that I didn't have the button buttoned up all the way there, so that's kind of weird. Um, now, whenever it comes to XL sizes, sometimes when I buy shirts from just really anywhere, um, they just don't fit the right way. They're usually too small, but this one is XL and it fits perfect. So if you guys want a corduroy shirt, I think you guys will really like this one. Nate with Dragon Blogger, see you guys on the next one. All right, there you guys go. So if you guys need a new corduroy shirt, for whatever reason, maybe you just like them. No judgment. No judgment passed here, okay? Maybe you just like them. Uh, definitely check those ones out. Uh, so we're going to move on to a laser hair removal tool. That has, has absolutely nothing to do with um, corduroy shirts. So when I tested this in the video, I did it right here. I did this little area on my palm. Now, while I don't have a... I mean, on my wrist. While I don't have a ton of hair there, the little area that I did it, it hasn't grown back. And I only used it one time. Yeah, it hasn't grown back. I have hair here. I have hair here and right here. But this little spot where I used it, it it's gone. I mean, take that with a grain of salt. But, I'm, I mean, I'm being honest. It's not there. Yeah. I'm so fancy. You already know. I'm in the back from LA to Tokyo. Yo, what's up, my friends? Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today I am excited to showcase to you this Joe's Venus Ice Laser Hair Removal Tool. Now, this isn't a product that I honestly ever thought that I would test out. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and jump in, see everything it comes out with, and then we'll try it out. So whenever you get this unwrapped, you're going to notice that it kind of has this nice little display case. So you're going to have everything you need on the inside, including the little guard here, the actual gun itself. This has a ton of different modes. Let's see if there's anything else underneath. And as you guys can see right there, you're also going to have your instructions and everything else that you need to get started, such as the charger and just everything along those lines. Now, one thing you need to be aware of whenever using this thing is it is a high powered laser in order to help remove some of those hairs. So they're going to send you some glasses right here. Blade, choose the air. Now, as you want to go on to this, make sure it's plugged in. You're going to have multiple buttons here. So right here, you're going to have your actual indicator 
or the function switch, which is actually going to activate the laser, but it won't activate until it's in contact with skin. On the back right here, whenever you do turn this on, by simply switching this to mode one right here, because you have this little knob that's going to control the power level. Now, they actually recommend using this on power level one for first timers, and then as you kind of go on with the hair removal process and you get used to it, you can graduate to higher levels of power. All right, so you guys are gonna notice that whenever I put this on, it's automatically gonna start flashing, so let's try this out. And honestly, it's, it's more hot than anything, but it really doesn't feel that bad. Now, to be honest, I don't really notice anything right off of the rip. Um, like I said, it feels more hot than anything. It doesn't necessarily burn. It doesn't feel like a tattoo or a sting or a shot or anything like that. It just kind of, it just kind of feels hot. So you're obviously going to want to take your time. But overall, the design of this, the ease of use makes me really think that this is going to be a great product. I can't really give you guys adequate results immediately because this is something that takes time in multiple sessions. But just right off of the rip, it didn't hurt. It didn't feel bad. It just kind of felt like I had something hot on my hand. So if you guys are looking for a really nice laser hair removal tool that's super easy to use and might help you get rid of some of those stubborn hairs or just hair in areas that you don't really want it, definitely check this out from Joe's. I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. I'm going to go burn some hair and I'll see you guys later. All right, guys, we only have one more product left in the carousel. So that means maybe two or three more minutes. Um, if you guys want a chance to win an Amazon gift card, we need two new followers. Just two more followers to do another gift card. Um, so if you guys want that chance, just feel free to hit that follow button. It doesn't cost you nothing. But we're going to go ahead and move on to the last product in today's stream and take a look at the Renfo Shiatsu Foot Massager. Um, foot and Calf Massager. This thing is really nice. Uh, crazy deal today. So $299 down to $180. This is definitely the lowest price I've seen this. Now, this is a super old video, so if I look skinnier or something like that, uh, you can't make fun of me. Can't make fun of me. And that's mainly why I haven't bought new Ray-Ban Seabass is because, to be real with you, uh, I don't want to lose them. This Renfo foot massage. You could have the air only squeezing on your heels, or you could have it on the front of your foot, like on the ball of your feet or everything, which is absolutely awesome too. And then you have just your power button here on the side. I will, let me see if I can plug this in for you guys and kind of show you real quick. All right, so we got it plugged in. It also comes with a remote to where all these settings that are on here, you can control it remotely. So we'll go ahead and power it on. And so now it's on and we will set the air intensity all the way up so you guys can kind of see how strong the air can get. Up to four different modes. Yeah, it, it, it's absolutely awesome. It's totally customizable to your preference. And so you can see here that it's actually inflating all the way through, which is really cool. And what it does is it kind of does this cycle where it compresses and then decompresses. And it might seem like it's going to squeeze your calf off. I promise it's not going to do that. I think it has a sensor built in for like a pressure sensor so it knows when to stop, you know, filling up those airbags. So if you guys have been looking to get yourself something like this, I, I can't recommend this enough. I just got this in yesterday and my wife steals it from me all the time. I have it set up on my little gaming station here. I just have my feet in it all day. Just a foot massage all day. So if you guys have been looking to get yourself one of these, I highly recommend it. Thank you so much to Renfo for sending this. We really appreciate it. This thing is an absolute unit, and I can't recommend it enough. Uh, so yeah, there you guys go. I wanted to show you guys. So look at my stream setup right now. Um, look at how much is going on in here. So this was this video that I'm or this picture that I'm going to show you. This was probably roughly a year ago. Look at how much different my room and the stream setup and everything like that was back then. So I'm against that wall now. I'm against that wall facing. I was over there behind me. But look at this. Is this just not crazy? How much this has evolved. And you guys have seen my stream setup go through, I don't know, probably 10 different 
types of setups. This is what it used to be. There was like nothing in here. And now look, everything is in here. <laughs> Uh, but that's going to be it for the uh, stream. Ow. Shouldn't have done that. That's going to be it for the stream today. It's a little bit of a short stream. I'm trying to cut the stream a little bit early so I can... Uh, how did we even get through this? We played that. We played those games for so long. I'm trying to cut it a little bit early so hopefully I can get some uh, extra work done after the stream is over. Um, but I appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, let me see if Blake is still live so I can see if I can kind of... I wish there was a raid feature. I don't think there is. He's on live, live stream. Blake's still live. Blake is still live. He is. What is he at in his carousel? Lori Paget. Oh, he's on his very last product too. We're getting done at basically the same exact time. One more. Yeah, Lori Paget. Thank you so much for following. Uh, if we can get one more follower in like the next thirty seconds, one new follower, we'll do our next Amazon gift card because we need ten. To do a gift card and we're at nine right now but Lori, welcome to the stream uh you're catching me right at the end if you have any questions about what's going on here or any questions about the products in the carousel uh feel free to ask them in the chat right now uh but that's gonna be it for me today guys uh, i'm trying to stall as m much as i can right now to get that next gift card i don't think i don't know i don't know but hey i appreciate you guys hanging out um, I really, I had a really good time. Sir Masquerade with the follow. There we go. We got it. <laughs> At the very last second. Let's go, guys. So we got to go to dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live to get entered. Again, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live to get entered. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing that whole, um, doing the whole like writing thing today. That was kind of fun. So let, let me do Sir Masquerade in my best handwriting. So Sir Masquerade and Lori, make sure you guys go to that website and get signed up. Once you're signed up, I need you to come back here and type in the chat, hashtag Bills Mafia, just like this. I'll type it for you. And that's just so I know that you're entered. So make, make sure you go there, get signed up. Once you're done, come back here and type in the chat, Bills Mafia. Uh, you have to get signed up, otherwise when we do the drawing, your name won't show up. Sir Masquerade coming in clutch too at the end there. Coming in clutch. So let's let's try Sir Masquerade. Oh, that S was perfect. The I not so much. How do you how do you spell it? Masquerade. Okay. I don't think I don't think Mama Siren could have beat this earlier. If if this was if this is what me and her if this was the competition, I don't know if she could have beat that. Ah, uh, the the S and the K's look kind of weird. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if she could have beat that. I'm gonna be honest with you. And then we had Lori Paget too. So let's try Lori. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good one right there. Look at that. Lori Paget. Ah, the, the G and the E didn't go together good. Didn't go together good. Still on this, huh? Oh, yeah. Watch this. Oh, geez. That's rough. That is even rougher. Dang. That's bad. That's no. We won't talk about that one. <laughs> What's up, Alyssa? <laughs> All right. So if you guys are entered and signed up, let me go ahead and get uh, a fire emoji in the chat. Um, here's the finished Bill sign, Rising Sun. Here's the finished Bill's Mafia sign. Bada boom, bada bang. My wrist. Ow, 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 ow. I'm holding it really weird. Right there. Oh, man, that hurts. 
How did I how did I spell it wrong? What did I do? What did I do wrong? That's what I did. Oh, I did two ends. It must have just looked like one end. Now let me just do it normal. I can't do cursive, but I feel like when I just do regular writing. That's when it looks best. Yeah, that's undefeated. That's undefeated when I do regular writing. Look how clean that is. The R is a little bit wonky. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to the giveaway page. And uh, I will let you guys know who the winner is. It's biscuits, it's gravy, babe. So the winner of the final gift card today before we stop the stream is going to be Serena G. Serena G. Isn't that Ray Ray? Are you here? Serena G. Isn't that Ray Ray Gummy Chan? I believe that's Ray Ray. Is Ray Ray here? Serena G. Ray Ray Gummy Chan is Serena G. We have Serene G, but we also have Serena G. And Ray Ray Gummy Chan is Serena G. So congratulations to Ray Ray. Uh, you are the winner. Yeah, congrats. Uh, let me make sure Justin knows that that is the second winner for the day. Yeah, no problem, of course. Well, really, really, you should say thank you to Justin. He's the one that sends you guys the money. F in the chat for Justin. All right, guys, that's going to be it for my show today. I appreciate you guys hanging out. I will see you guys again back here tomorrow. Um, you guys have a great rest of your evening. Um, I ended basically as, I ended basically as soon as Blake did, but I want you guys to now go raid. I need every single one of you guys right now in the chat. You guys are going to go to this link right here. That is Chris Garage. And I need everyone to go in there right now, right now. Everyone go to that link and Go raid Chris Garage and type in the type in the chat Dragon Blogger raid like that. Everyone go raid Chris Garage. Even if you're already there, say Dragon Blogger raid. Say Dragon Blogger raid. Everybody move over to Chris Garage. I just shared a link. I'll share the link one more time. Uh, everyone right now, I'm gonna go type it too. Um, make sure you guys go raid him. Show him some love and. Uh, there you guys have it right there. There's the link again. And I will see you guys uh, on the next one. Don't forget to be weird. Later.